Hello, hello, everybody. All right, you stop that. We're starting now. We're not going to diddly D. But, yes, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to begin with one of the special episodes. Because it has been ever so slightly a bit. We've let Team Charm just hang for a little bit, which is ever so slightly mean, I suppose. So we should probably actually go and, like, deal with them. It just... So we can actually do it. It's just like, we don't know Team Charm. And I think they came in just like at a bad time. So it's just like... <laughs> my priorities just were not on playing Team Charm there for a bit. So, Because I think we got Team Charm near the end of the main story... And it's just like, that was just a terrible time to come on in. <laughs> and sorry for the delay of starting the stream. I was playing around with adding new music to the starting stream beginning part because I was just like, ah, I can add the music that has been making me cry to the start of the stream. And then <laughs> because I was using FLAC format, which is... I think, like, lossless audio, basically, in a format. I had to play around to make sure it worked properly. But, yes. Last time, we went through the Shaman Village and up through the Shaman Mountain. Sneasel had a character arc. Oh, and I also learned that, like, in Amp Plains, the place where Dusknoir comes in and saves you from the Manatrix, and his pack, apparently, in the Explorers of Time and Darkness, it was actually a Luxray slash Luxio tribe that hunted you. But because they added, like, the first evolution of the Luxray line as a potential starter and partner in Explorers of Sky, they're like, well, we can't exactly have you be hunted by them, so they changed it around, which I find amusing. But either way, here comes Team Charm. And once again, thank you very much to the people whose effort went into creating the Expanded Sky ROM hack. Just thank you very much to all their effort. Once again, link can be found to that ROM hack in the YouTube stream and videos of this here game. But yep, here comes Team Charm. All I know is that I think they're like gatekeeping girl bosses from what Tumblr has shown me. I know nothing about this. Like, with Bidoof's Wish, I knew the basic premise, go find Jirachi. With Igglybuff, I knew the basic thing of like, ah, we're gonna follow Wigglytuff as a child, I think it's emotional. I knew nothing about today's Oh My Gosh, and know nothing of Here Comes Team Charm, and I think I know a little bit of In the Future of Darkness, but we'll have to wait and see. Here Comes Team Charm. One evening. Interesting. Mount That's a big, big temple place. <laughs> if those were mountains. On the eastern horizon. In a small expanse of ruins. No, Graveler. Don't do it. <laughs> this is... This is the deepest part of the dungeon, I think. I didn't do them in order, the episodes. For some reason, I just want to do them in order. I, d I don't know. My brain works in weird ways where sometimes I'll play a game series in chronological order, and sometimes I'll play them in release order. It, it, I do it based off vibes. Eh. <laughs> so with these episodes, they're like, oh, they release in this order. I'll play them like that. Oh, hey! There's a treasure chest up there. D don't tell me. Don't tell me this is the treasure everyone's been blabbering about. Those statues seem conspicuous. It is. It has to be. This is the treasure of these ruins. 
Uh, I've been working hard as an explorer for a really long time. And finally, finally I've found what I've searched for. An awesome treasure. <laughs> this totally rocks. All right, those statues are going to come alive. They're going to be Team Trump. They're going to kick your ass, and you're going to deserve it for that pun. I can't wait. Oh, done. The moment I lift up this treasure, I'm afraid the ruins will start to crumble. Whew, glad I thought of that. I was so excited I almost got careless. Anyway, I'll pick up the treasure carefully. Then I'll run as fast as I can out of here before it all crumbles down on me. There's no mistake. This treasure is... This treasure is mine. Wait a minute. What? What was that? That voice? This treasure has already been claimed by us. We're not handing it over to you. Well, who's there? Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> show yourself, you say? All right, we'll show ourselves. Strength, knowledge, beauty. Here comes the treasure hunters. Here comes Team Charm. What's this? Walk! It suddenly do not to see. Did they seriously just wait for this poor schmuck to come in just to take it in front of him? That's crazy. I was thinking of getting a shelf for the Sonic IDW comics. He only got uh, number one, number two, and number three. Out of like 50 plus more to read. Well, I hope you have the, the shelf space for it all. Gah! The treasure's gone! Blast! I've been tricked! The them! Ah! It's coming down! Oh no! This is some boppin' music, I gotta say. But again, why would Team Charm do that just to be jerks? Alright, that went well. The treasure of the ruins is ours. This was a pretty easy job, wasn't it? That's one victory right after another. That's right. We haven't lost out on a treasure we've aimed for yet. Not even one. Team Charm has a 100% success rate, and we take pride in that. All right, let's go on and go undefeated. We're the treasure hunters, Team Charm. Among the three of us, there's nothing we can't do. Interesting. Okay, here comes Team Charm. Okay, the devs really liked this one, apparently. The Treasure Hunters, Team Charm, are a very famous exploration team. They're not only famous for being master rank and having a great reputation, but also for their splendid ability to find treasure, which is admired by everyone. However, this story takes place a little earlier. It's a story that takes place before Team Charm became famous. The Team Charm that always gets the treasure they're aiming for. Their next target is... Wait for me! Ah, ah, we've, we've come pretty far. Are we anywhere near our destination yet? Just a little farther, Medicham. According to my research, once we get to the, out of this jungle, our destination is Boulder Quarry. Deep in Boulder Quarry, there's supposed to be a legendary treasure. It's said to be so beautiful that mere words cannot express it. A beautiful treasure. <laughs> Sounds like it'll fit us perfectly. I is that so? When I hear that, it makes me so very happy. All right, let's do our best and get through this jungle. Uh, um, oh, uh, who are you? I'm Blossom. I doubt that. I think you're a ditto. What the fuck is with that face? I live in this jungle. If you're talking about the treasure in Boulder Quarry, you really should give up. <laughs> what? Why? The treasure has been sought by many exploration groups, but so far nobody's found it. Everyone knows that it's impossible to find, and lately we, that is, those of us who live here, 
think that there might not actually be anything there to begin with. So, don't you think you should just give up as well? Thank you, Blossom, but we're not giving up. Huh? That kind of treasure sounds exactly like the kind of thing we look <laughs> we like to look for. We always find and acquire the treasure we're looking for. After all, we are the alluring treasure hunters. Team Charm! I just gotta say, I also find it hilarious that they, like, made custom sprites just for their pose. It is hilarious. They don't say the number of books, just the titles. My shelves are going to look like crazy shelf for people unfamiliar with the IDW comics. That's kind of funny. They don't just have a, like, a small band, like, at the top or bottom, like, this is the Sonic IDW comic, to, like, to signify it, kind of like how game console, like, boxes have it, like, GameCube at the bottom, or, like, PS4 at the top or something. That's weird. Hey, Law Punny, once you're prepared, let's head out. To the other side of the jungle. The special episode, Here Comes Team Charm, stars Law Punny as the main character. I think this game knows me. You'll progress through the story with Law Punny as the playable character. Interesting. It seems like nobody's found the treasure yet. When, these, when that's the situation, we get more excited. Let's find more treasure. On the other side of this jungle is Boulder Quarry. Let's hurry up and get ready so we can go. Well, if you're set on going, I won't stop you. But don't think it might be better to leave it alone. It's useless to spend time looking for something that's not there. Thanks, Blossom, for making the impossible possible. And that's what Team Charm does best. So don't worry. Again, I think this Blossom's in on something. <coughs> All right. Let's see. I guess I'll take a power band for myself. A special band for Gardevoir. And I guess a power band for Metacham as well. Hmm. Actually, uh, maybe the Zinc band. Yeah. Apples. And we'll take a good few reviver seeds just to get us through. And I'll need to be careful. I have so many ginseng I need to use when I get back to the main. This is also some fun a funky beat. Move on that funky beat. Ba -ba 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 funky beat. Also, I just remembered, yeah, we have an expanded diddly D, expanded storage. Ain't it so good? Let's see. I was looking for something. Pure seed. Let's find a pure seed or two just so that we're not too caught out, unless I don't have any here. Nope. Uh, two pure seed just in case. <coughs> Save. Save complete. Well, oh, I should. I should look at our moves. Let's see: endure, pound, jump kick, and baton pass. Switches the user's position with the positions of other Pokemon in the room successfully. Interesting. A jump kick obviously does big damage. Kick people with our thick thighs. Enduring. So if we run into danger, we can just survive. Healing Wish, Disarming Voice, inflicts damage on the target and never misses. Jesus. Confusion Calm Mind, boosts the user's special attack and defense by one level. Hmm. What about you, Metacham? Confusion, Hidden Power, Force Palm, and Calm Mind. Very cool. Would you like to go on? Yes. Southern Jungle, Floor 1. I'll need to be careful on which ones I use. <laughs> this is meant to be a superstar team. I have more health than them. Then again, I think the opening did say that this is like, oh, a story before they hit Master Rank or something like that. But this is interesting because Team Charm has not a... 
Okay, sure. Interesting. Just a whole conga line of motherfuckers. Oh, that's not good at all. How dare you use high jump. Hmm. Oh, I should just have been using pound. Jesus, I should have brought some orange berries. Never mind, healing wish. Thank you very much. Oh, that's not good. We'll have to protect Gardevoir with all we can. At least the game is nice and puts Gardevoir in the middle. Let's, let's double mean, you know? I'll need to be careful. Dang it. Let's wait a bit to heal everyone up and now head to the bay. The baby the bay. Kill the bird. Android 16 would like to know your location. Or you killed the bird. And that is illegal. But yeah, I, I got sidetracked because I ran into the conga line of enemies. But I wonder why Team Charm exists, because they weren't in the story at all. Like, unless they are... That's not what I meant to do at all. I'm not used to new moves being where they shouldn't be. But yeah, like, Team Charm wasn't in the main story, so unless they were part of, like the post-game in Time and Darkness, and then they just got a... I keep doing that. I need to move my <laughs> fucking moves around. <laughs> so yeah, unless they were like... Let's see. A... And... Yeah, I think that should work good. It'll be just interesting to know. <laughs> Damn it. Why would you do that? You're gonna like die unless I get sort of the stabs effect. Oh, it does. But that puts you on death's door. I think that is highly impractical. So yeah, let's um, switch that off. Let's see. It seems like everything I've gone up against has resisted my high jump kick. Oh Jesus! Dang it! I hate that I can't just maneuver around my team. I don't think, no, it's Pekka Berry that could serve poison, not Rost. But I wish that I could control the movement of my team sometimes. And again, that is why I don't use more than two team people. Because that happens with the stupid traps in a place that's impossible to maneuver. It's like, oh, you should level up people. Why? Three people is already an obnoxious thing to deal with. Especially once you get into the realm of the traps that just exist purely to hurt you. So just like, why in the world would I ever, ever use more than just the partner and the hero of the base game? 
when it's nothing but a punishment to have more <laughs> characters. Like, if every single person in the game had an innate, oh, we're not gonna step on that because it's an obvious trap thing, I might be more, like, lenient and stuff, but it's just like... I have no reason to trust this game when it comes to movement. <laughs> I got used to four members, not me. <laughs> Because, like, there was no way to, like, really, blah, 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 no real way to maneuver around that poison spike right after Gardevoir went and used up all her health. So it's just, like, doomed. I was doomed that day. Because at least with two characters, you can actually maneuver. The movements are simple. And you don't have to worry about the AI going, I'm going to step on this obvious trap, even though that'll kill me. It's just a big old bother to have more than <laughs> freaking two characters. Especially when the game advertises it like this. <laughs> Does nothing but punish you. <laughs> Trap avoider is a skill, anyhow. It shouldn't be a skill, in my opinion. It should just be a baked in thing. If this is what the game is gonna do. Because I don't even have Trap avoider on my main team. And they want me to waste valuable gummies? Training up the IQ of normal schmucks? When they're just gonna punish me? Anyway, for having three characters? Nah. It's just not a good advertisement. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna put on items to do more damage. And shit. Special ban for you. And zinc ban for you, just cause. Bam! Get smacked. But it's just like certain little things like that. Where it's like it would be one thing if it's like, oh, it's a hidden trap, <laughs> and you can't just avoid that off rip. You need a gummy skill to be able to do it. Sure, I understand that. But then when you come on with the trap is exposed, but your AI allies are gonna run into it anyway. That just makes it a big old bother to, like, have AI allies. Okay, you can stop using your calm mind. Jesus fucking Christ. Not exactly what I wanted. Stop spamming it. Getting very annoyed by this game. Her, her, I shield, but I never die. Very annoying. Please stop. Especially when that was a tanky as fuck asshole. Who just refused to die. <sighs> I have a Pokemon who's 10 levels lower than me. Plus Apollo, yet they still hit like a truck. It's not the hitting like a truck thing that's the problem. It's the fact that I just have no... Like, it's the movement is the problem. Because it doesn't matter if they hit like a truck if I have to, like, basically micromanage their movement anyway. Only for the game to punish movement with the traps. It's just big old bothersome. Like, again, I wish that I could program in 
simple formations. I'm just like, I want my character and this character to move in this way. Just so I can like, actually have control over the annoyance. Well, I just did, I can't. There's always just like, oh, we're gonna walk as a square. So if there is a trap, it's basically guaranteed for somebody to get hit because a lot of the time, the AI is stupid and reconfigures the square to perfectly walk into the trap anyway. It just is not a fun time. He's just very bothersome. Listen, I know I took away your healing wish and your calm mind, but why do you have to use, like, your most powerful moves? Will you please fucking stop, you asshole? I shall throw a gravel rock, I guess. Why didn't you use that to begin with? I guess I went the wrong way and I needed to go right the whole time. Yeah, it's just like, it's just mostly the fact that whenever formation is important, I usually hit the, like, a bad thing and get punished for the formationing of this game. Which makes me go, I don't want to deal with multiple characters. So it's just like, kind of like a negative survivorship bias. I mostly just stick to two characters, so whenever I have like three or four, I get annoyed by the movement. Because it almost seems like every single time I have more than two characters, the game is now like, now it is time for the annoying things to happen. At least that opened up the area. So I didn't have to too much worry about one of the allies stepping onto the explosive button again. Again, like, most of my issues with the formation system could be fixed if Trap Avoider was just a built-in skill. Because it's one of those things that feels like it should just be a quality of life thing. Rather than something weaponized against the player. I don't know, it could just be that I have a, like, repeated history of disliking the design philosophy of we're going to add annoying thing and then add thing that makes annoying thing go away as gameplay mechanic. I just, I don't like when that happens because usually it's just done in an annoying way. Granted, traps are like one of my least favorite things about Mystery Dungeon. So when it's just like, we're going to have an annoying thing and then we're going to have usually a good thing having more Pokemon become a bad thing when you add traps, which is... <laughs> how the all the post game is going to be so i just look to rescue team and go i don't want to deal with that but times two <laughs> i think you were given endure for a reason that's true that is indeed true but the problem is my mindset is if i'm going into a fight usually like that's what i need to do use endure before the fight gets to me it's just hard to tell sometimes, like, is this going to be a normal enemy that I can just obliterate in one hit? Or is this going to be an enemy that's going to obliterate me? And so, it's kind of a balancing act. Do I use all my power points of Endure, or just preemptively? So it just becomes a use before or never kind of move. Because I don't have any Oren Berries. 
because I'm a fool. I got everything but orenberries. I think we reached the other side of the jungle. Uh, I'm pretty sure of it. It seems like we're out of the southern jungle. So, bold query is just ahead, right? Goo! Huh? I think I heard some kind of strange noise coming from over there. What is it? <laughs> is it bird or electronics? How do you make the move set uh, to other buttons? Um, I really just moved them around the... Like, it could be a thing built into the ROM hack, Expanded Sky. But, uh, basically, each r column is set to a different button. So, when you, you just go into the move list, and then it's like, Ooh, hold R, and then move them up and down. And so, that's how you change it. I explained that poorly, but it's all in there. <laughs> I heard it again. Let's go check it out. S someone's unconscious. Wiggly tough. He's not moving. Not moving. It can't be. Huh? Oh no! Is he? But he's not moving at all. Oh no! Oh, buddy. God of War. What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> He's hungry is what? Th that sound again! We heard it come from over here. I is that from... It looks like he just passed out from starvation. Medicham, try giving him one of those. Got it. I'll put it down and see. <laughs> Next to the unconscious Pokemon, Medicham placed an extraordinarily delicious perfect apple. How did we even get that? Uh, uh. What's this smell? This delicious... It's a tiny bit sour, but of course sweet. This smell... I knew it! A perfect apple! <laughs> oh, gee. Jesus! Pah! Thank you so much! It was really delicious! Thank you! I'm feeling much better thanks to you! Perfect apples are my number one favorite food! You like perfect apples that much. Here, you can have mine too. Really? Lopunny gave the mysterious Pokemon a perfect apple! Thank you so much! Yay! We're the Treasure Hunters Team Charm, and you are? Yep, I'm Wigglytuff. I'm the first apprentice of the Explorer Armaldo. Wigglytuff, nice to meet you. I've never heard of the Explorer Armaldo. But if you say you're an Explorer's apprentice, don't tell me you're also looking for the treasure in the quarry. It's no joke. We're the ones who are going to find the treasure. <laughs> treasure? What are you talking about? I was just taking a walk through here is all. And then suddenly all of my food items were stolen by someone. And I got really hungry and used up all my strength. And passed out here. That's all. Oh. Is that it? If that's it, that's fine. He's such a strange explorer. <laughs> He's just dancing. Well, let's hurry on ahead. See you later, Wigglytuff. Take care. So interesting. Bye-bye. Thanks again so much. Friendly friends. So I guess this is early on in Wigglytuff's career. <laughs> That's kind of funny. He still goes around like, I'm the first apprentice of the Explorer Armaldo. <coughs> oh, this art! Look at those rocks! One of them looked like a dick. Ah! Is everyone over there an explorer? Probably. Everyone's gathered aiming for the treasure at the depths of the quarry. Wow, pretty ladies. Oh, are you ladies an exploration team too? You look way too delicate to be an exploration team. This is too difficult for you girls. You should give up. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, but it's not good to judge others by their appearance. So cool. Um, whoa! By the way, what's the status of the treasure? Oh, no one's found it yet. Unfortunately, nothing's been found. Nothing at all. 
It's said that in this quarry is a really complex labyrinth. What is with your face? You will again look like a ditto. <laughs> I've yet to run into him. Like a normal one. To be able to tell. Are you normal? <laughs> Gender equality. <laughs> I mean, they saved Wigglytuff. They're obviously badass. It's really easy to get lost in it. Even so, you should be able to get at least halfway through. But after the waypoint, it's really difficult. Difficult? Yeah. Even if you're trying to move forward, you always end up right back where you started. No matter how many times you try. And so almost everyone's been coming back here to discuss it. There's got to be some kind of puzzle to it somehow, I think. If you don't figure out the puzzle, you'll never find the treasure. Blossom was saying the same thing earlier. It seems like this treasure is a really difficult one to find. Seems that way, but if it's that kind of treasure, there's value in finding it. We're Team Charm. Nothing's impossible. So cool. Um, whoa. Who's this hey? You over there. You give up now. This treasure's ours. Oh, Weavile. This treasure is going to be found by none other than the Band of Thieves, Team AWD. Team AW... Team AWD? That Band of Thieves with the bad reputation, Team AWD is here? Got it. You, if you don't want to get hurt, I suggest you get out of here as fast as you can. Hey, what's with them? You... You don't know Team AWD? Team AWD is a band of thieves whose wickedness knows no bounds. I'm pretty sure that's Drapion over there. He can beat down any opponent with the claws on both his arms and his long fangs. That's Arbok. He's an incredibly vindictive. There in the center is the boss, Weavile. Rumor says she's really strong. It's said that she pursues goal, her goal by any means, fair or foul. Team AWD is known everywhere for its terrible behavior. It's said that each and every Pokemon that has run into them in a dungeon, they've all come away from the encounter stripped of all their possessions. Hey, you guys! Weren't you listening? Didn't my Lady Weavile tell you to hit the road? If you don't scram, it's gonna be pretty painful for you. S better listen up. I've been getting restless. Cause it's been too long since I've been had the chance to beat someone down. So, the first one to get stepped on, who's it going to be? Um. Um. Everyone, what's wrong? I, I, I give up. Me too. Me too. All of them. <laughs> I feel like if I had an agility, every Pokemon would be easier. <laughs> yes, agility is a very big boon in this, especially with multiple enemies. Bah, cowards. Say, Drapion. Are those cute girls still here? Yeah, yeah they are! Shocker! These girls seem to have some spine. Aren't you scared of us? Oh, I see. You admire us and want to become friends? <laughs> that's it, that's it! If that's how it is, it's real simple. You girls are cute, so I guess we'll let you be friends with us. Hmm. Just who do you think you are? What? Become friends of Pokemon with terrible reputations such as yourselves? Why would we want to do a thing like that? What? We don't think you're scary or anything, and we definitely don't admire you. <laughs> we are so nice to you. And now it seems to have gone to your heads! Huh? You're weaker than I thought. Uh, what? Blast! Drapion, let's take care of this for real. 
Wait. Hold it, you. B boss My Lady Weavile. Just walks on by. You, you've made an enemy of Team AWD. And you won't regret it, will you? <laughs> Not at all. Those words, we won't forget them. Arbok, Drapion, let's go. You remember this. The next time we meet, we'll finish this. Hmm. You think you can just walk away like that? We've always gotten every treasure so far, so we won't miss it this time. We won't lose. La Pony, God of War, let's hurry. Excuse me. It's the it's the freaky central again. You're earlier. You didn't you run away? Yes, that's right. I should have said this sooner. My name is Centret. The truth is, I was watching you and Team AWD from the shadows over there. That argument going back and forth. I've never seen anyone stand up to Team AWD like that without flinching. It was amazing. After watching you, I feel like I can trust you, so I have a request. A request? Yes. Team AWD. T Team AWD needs to be punished. Why Team AWD? The truth is, I used to be in an exploration team with some friends a while ago. My friends were attacked by a Team AWD during an adventure. They were hurt very badly. What? And since then, my friends have been too scared to go out and exploring again. They spend their days shaking in fear, and so going out exploring with me is completely out of the question for them. That's terrible. You know, they're real scoundrels, just like the rumors say. To do something so terrible that your friends don't want to explore anymore. As explorers, we just can't forgive those bullies. We understand, Sintret. If we run into Team AWD again, we'll definitely punish them. In honor of your friends. Thank you so much. All right, we should get ready and get moving. Into the quarry! Oh, okay. This is a remix. Of a song from... Bobadaba. From Rescue Team, definitely. Jesus. And it is just going! It is blasting. Well, I guess I'll take the last reviver seed. Oh. Mmm. Stun seeds, maybe. Do I have any sleep seeds or just stun? I guess I'll take them for... Oh. I'll take two stun and my whole stock of totter. That'll kill them. <laughs> Hello, you're really good at voices. Thank you. Like, seriously, how on earth do you change between them so easily? I don't know. It just comes to me. Though some of them do require me to, like, shift and actually bring in my Adam's apple in a weird way to do some of the voices. Like to do this voice. I have to draw it in or else it just doesn't work. <laughs> but let's talk to everybody. Hey, no way I can forgive them. I'll defeat them next time they come into my sight. Team AWD is already on its way there. We should hurry up and get ready so we can catch them. It's a promise, Sentret. Well, if we run into Team AWD, we'll make sure to give them what for. Thank you so very much. Let's -a go into the cavern. Oh no, hello. Hello to you too. Jesus Christ, we're already in danger. Never mind, he's dead. High jump kick. Murder. Again, this is a poppin' song. Well, I guess you can schmickety smack him. Into oblivion he goes. <laughs> We're officially on the worst of the original scenarios. Like, aside from the maneuverability and not understanding anything of what's going on with the moves. 
my muscle memory's been thrown off. I, I haven't minded it so far. Well, that's very mean. We have to wait for Metacham to pick back up. It is kind of nice that it is, like, uh, exploring Team AWD, even though we know that nothing, like, much is going to happen to them because they appear in the main scenario. This Pokemon can learn a new move. How convenient. High jump kick. Again. <laughs> I guess... Hmm. Huh. Do I care about Calm Mind, Boost the Special, and... Eh. Yeah, get rid of the Calm Mind. Give us attack. All right, leveled up. You haven't gotten to the problematic boss yet. Oh boy. Either it's gonna be Team Out AWD, or it's gonna be something else. We'll have to wait and see. And I forgot to bring Orin Berries again. Shit. But don't they'll spam it? That's the point. We want the enemy. We want my allies to spam their attacks. Why, you bastard. Why do they all decide to explode in my face? And on the girl, Teton too, how dare. This is a really nice remix. Again, I don't know what the specific song from Rescue Team was, but... It's a good remix of that. It makes it more bombastic and stuff. I am Eloquence personified. Yeah, you, you you get on out of here, you explodey little bitch. I saw you wandering out. Like, I would rather have my allies be able to spam, like, normal attacks than have to suffer through my allies spamming, like, uh, boosts. Let's see. Not very effective. And that was a critical hit, too. But yeah, so far, it's kind of interesting to see, like, Wigglytuff make an appearance. Team out AWD. Just, I think it's interesting. Yeah, leveled up. And you're already afflicted with only ones. And we got an Orenberry. Huzzah. This is a big old room, motherfucker. Hello, Manectric, you bastard. We have come to kill you. The reason they blow up is to make more problematic for the Team Charm team. Basically, like, we know your purpose here, and now we're going to make you hurt. <gasps> Agility! We're getting rid of Baton Pass. I'm never gonna frickin' use that. Agility is a million times more useful. Hello, Neon. How are you? I am doing quite decently. I did uh, move a bunch of bricks so my lungs are dying. <laughs> so if I cough and stuff, that's why. But overall, I recently finished... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'm a fool. But, like, I recently finished an art piece that I'm really proud of. I just need to do more writing and more drawing. You bastard. Yeah, but you need to do more things. I want to be uh, active. Obliterate. Oh, he took no damage. That's not good at all. I, ke I keep forgetting Endure. I should be using Endure, but I just I keep forgetting that I have it. I'm sorry to hear, hope, uh, uh, oh, yeah, thank you for much, my lungs. <laughs> I have my tea with me. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. <laughs> I actually got out of the hospital recently, as in like a day ago. Well, I hope you're doing okay. Hospital visits are always kind of scary. Blast them. I need to remember to use Endure more. 
and we're actually facing like an enemy. We are here to murder you. Once again, my ally has decided to go in a different direction. We could have had a three-prong attack on him. And Medichem is like, I'm going to come over here. More Max Elixir, that's nice. Get out of here. Face. What is it the... Interesting. Lots of took no damage for no reasons. Uh, being just out of an operation, I'm doing really well, things considered. I hope the recovery from the surgery goes, or operation goes really well. I always think of, like, when I hear operation, I assume, like, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to think of my brain. I assume, like, surgery, but it's not, it doesn't necessarily need to be. But either way, I hope everything is, n goes well for you. These traps are out to get me. Let's get out of here. Ah, it's the midway point that they were talking about. We've come pretty far. I think it's going to get more difficult from here on. Let's proceed with caution. Let's proceed with, hey. <laughs> Use endure, idiot. <laughs> Basically. After this, it's the real deal. I love this type of tension. It's so exciting. Let's proceed with caution, La Punny. You might run into Team AWD somewhere out there. If they were like a roaming boss for this dungeon, I think that'd be neat. <laughs> There's been a significant boost in persistence. Alright. Well, that. Damn it. Right as I say, I need to use my Endure more. The game is like, meh. And then once again, the stupid, like, rigmarole of the blah blah blah. Just team placement. Just gets in the way and hurts my soul. Give me my Endure back. Alright. Endure. Just in case they like... You bastard. Double damage. Please die. I probably shouldn't be wandering so low with health, but... Oh, shit. I have more gravel rocks, idiot. Get gravel rocked. Disarming... Uh, uh, get gravel rocked. And we can't... Jesus! Just fling, fling the bitch! And it's my bitch! Go ahead and use agility a little bit. Let Metacham get out of being blocked. <laughs> Metacham gets blocked on Twitter. How dare he! You bastard. The game... Fucker. I hate that. We're gonna lock you in there. I haven't seen Garnivore attack with Psychic or Magic Leaf. Because they don't have it. <laughs> they only have... Like, we can go to our team. Wrong thing. Gardevoir has a healing move that makes her go down. It has Calm Mind, but she kept spamming it instead of attacking, so she only has Disarming Voice and Confusion. Why'd you have to hit me? What did I ever do to you? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, it's a motherfucking Starlix. Let's run over this Starlix. High jump kick. And a reviver seed. Yay. Heal up. Remember, stay hydrated because... Yeah, throat is 
longing to die. Bleh. But onwards we go. Damn it. It's another motherfucker. Please die. We're getting lost. We don't need apples. Apples is literally the one thing that we have in abundance. Apples is the one thing that is just filling up my storage. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Stay hydrated. You stay tri hydrated too. Thank you very much. Is it boss fight time? Huh? Something about this place seems different somehow. So far, the path has been pretty straight without ever diverging. Maybe we got lost without realizing it. Oh no! Don't tell me we're lost! What do we do? We should just try to keep moving forward, right? Before we entered, those other exploration teams told us about this. And this is probably the complex labyrinth. So rather than getting worried about being lost... Damn it. I bumped my mic and it went for a trip think that this is a place where everyone gets lost, so it's only natural that you'll get lost, too. That's one way to look at it. Wouldn't that help you relax? <laughs> Sounds about right. I think this might be a detour, but eventually we'll figure it out, uh, I think. Anyway, let's keep going and see. Wait, you. You. Where did you come from? This. Oh, no. Someone else. I thought it was Weavile. This is my... How could you not know this is a Grand's territory? Really? We didn't know. Gra <laughs> you didn't know. If you didn't know, then allow me to teach you what happens to those who trespass here. Come on out! Laron! Oh, oh, oh no. Thank God I got agility. <laughs> we show no mercy to those who invade our territory. That's the law of this land. Huh? We apologize that we wandered into your territory, but we didn't know. But regardless, don't you think it's a little unreasonable to attack us without listening to our reason? We haven't done anything to, to this place, and we don't intend to fight. But if you're going to insist on fighting, then we have no choice. We'll be your opponents. Hmm. <laughs> you ladies are considerably cheerful. However, that composure... How long can you keep it up? Let's go, Leron! Get them! Grow! Metacham La Punny, here they come! Anytime! Okay, let's go! That is adorable. Well, first things first. Just in case, cause uh, if just in case, I shall use it from the menu, so that I don't accidentally misuse it or something. And this is some bopping music. Dang it. Yeah, I, that's precisely why I did the agility from the normal menu. Dun, dun, dun. We have Reviver Seeds galore. We have one... Or, oh, we have some Mornberries. Gardevoir, you eat. Yes, Metacham, please keep using that move. That Petrify is, or like, Stun is 
lasting for a long time, and I'm very happy. Why is your confusion so lame? Once again, you eat, because I think Metacham should be able to survive if they use the high jump kick. Never mind. Please attack me, Leiron. Dang it. This is some good music. All right, team. Guard of War. Tactics. Hmm. Get away. Metacham. Go after enemies. I should use Endure. Agility. Agility! Agility! I jump kick. I jump kick. And he's dead. Why why did that guy have the least health out of all of them? <laughs> Metacham, shut the fuck up my head cannon. <laughs> that that like stun lasted for so many turns. I'm so happy. Great fight theme? Yes it is. It's a great fight and the remake seems to have uh, made it a lot easier. But they haven't remade this. That was, uh, bop, bop, bop. Uh, Rescue Team. Rescue Team DX. <laughs> unless, uh, unless I am just a brainlet and just have not at all recognized any hints or, like, announcements of an Explorers, <laughs> like, remake. I, I would feel much shame as a, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan if that slipped my under my radar. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Run. 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 That's not running, that's digging. <laughs> they panicked and ran off. We're Team Charm. Don't underestimate us. Well, at least we won't be held back anymore. Let's keep moving. Huh. Somehow it seems like the scenery has changed slightly from before. Huh? Oh, great. Do I have to choose? Here, there's two entrances. Looks like the labyrinth continues. We probably have to choose the correct entrance to proceed. Yeah, but which one should we choose? Hmm, just looking at them, they seem to be the same. I think it's fine. Pick whichever one you like. Yeah, no sense in worrying about it. For now, go ahead and pick an entrance, and we'll go out, and if it's the right one. Let's see. Go ahead and put things away. Mainly the orbs. Don't really need quick orb because we have, like, the dudley da. And, like, <laughs> none of the orbs are worthwhile because I can't be used in Frickin' fights against the, the, the motherfuckers that you'd want to use them on. You'd want to use them because, like, ah, oh, this is a deadly thing. I want to use it against that there boss. And then the game is like, ha 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 ha, idiot. Just slaps you in the face and calls you a hoe. I've done that, like, three times. I'm like, now is time to use orb because big fight. And then the game is like, idiot. I think the one on the right's the correct path. No, maybe they just want you to think that. Maybe it's really the one on the left. Hmm, which one is it really? Hmm. I guess we'll have to pick an entrance and see. Oh, uh, let's go right, I guess. Why not? Oh, it was not a remake. It was a YouTuber I watched before you really, uh, that just really struggled with it. Ah. Oh, and Gardevoir is still listening to previous tactics. 
God of War, I'm sorry, I told you to go on the uh, suicide run, no. Die. I don't want to use my agility just to catch up to Gardevoir. The most I can do is... Oh, there we go. Hello, Gardevoir. Yeah, because I think I was watching some people react to the ending of uh, Explorers, like the main game credits, to see like their reactions to the emotional ending that emotionally devastated me. And quite a few of them had trouble with uh, Dialga. Granted, I will admit that a lot of the time, I have gotten by on the skin of my teeth on just having just enough Reviver Seeds. <laughs> I think against Wigglytuff's uh, Grandmaster of All Things Bad, I think I was down to like one Reviver Seed. Against Dialga, I think I ran out of Reviver Seeds, but beat him on my last life. Ooh. He's very scary. I overprepped with Violent Seed. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that exists. Because I just... I need to use my Violent Seeds. I have a billion of them, but I just... I don't bring them along. Because I am a fool. I really should bring them along in the future. Just, like I do with Pure Seeds. Just bring a, a Violent... I should have brought a Violent Seed on this run. Then I could have high jump kicked Lady Weavile in the face. With maximum power. I don't need this many apples. Buy some apples. I don't need to buy any apples because I have five billion apples in my storage. I have an orchard there. I've just had too many apples. Too, too many <laughs> apples. <laughs> Fallen seeds are literally mercy is off the table. It is time for you. Game, you are being evil and kind at the same time, and that's terrifying. We have violent seed is basically, I want you to die now. Now I wonder, like, in universe. Like. Game. Oh, you are being mean, game. I, I'm, I'm not risking it. I'm using one of my pure seeds. I'm using one of my pure seeds right the fuck now. No, 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 no. Oh, and I didn't spoil, but there was no consequence to either path. Oh, that's nice at least. Oh, I can see some kind of light over there. I bet that's the exit. We did it. We made it through the cave. At least that eases it. <laughs> Wait, isn't this right where we started? We we were tricked. This isn't the right entrance. The entrance on the left must be the right one. But isn't it nice? Now we know the way. Now we know. Let's try the path to the left this time. And this time I'm going to bring a violent seed. Well, first things first, I'll put away the things that I don't need. And then we'll take a Violent Seed, because I have too many of them. Although I think I've been giving some away. Yeah, I've been giving some away because I'm just like, I'm never using these. We'll get through this time. Let's try the one on the left this time. Let's -a go! What if the secret is that you need to go back the way you came? Oh hey, another Reviver Seed! Oh, hey, it's a Kecleon shop. He's only selling a band. And an apple. And I'm not buying an apple in a dungeon. I refuse. It could be one pokey, and I'm not gonna buy it. No. Oh, you're mean. Please die. Also, they gave you a bunch of healing items in case there's someone playing with low items, and I think you can stop immediately and play it when it becomes available. The secret isn't, uh, the secret isn't here. 
Have you ever fought a Kecleon? No, I have not. Mostly out of paranoia. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight him, especially when I can't recruit him. The recruitment rate is rivaling that of legendaries. I'm not gonna risk it. But yeah. It is good design for them to be like, hey, let's make it so that people can immediately play the special episodes upon, like, their unlocking. It's just, it's common sense of design, but at the same time, just look at Bethesda. Common sense doesn't exist everywhere. Hello, we are Bethesda. We are not going to use standard, uh, like, just standard anything. What's that? We're supposed to keep, like, documents so we know what we're doing. Nah, we don't need to do that. We're Bethesda. We don't need to make anything. Quick, hire the Todd bot. Oh, you are a bitch. Quit trying to paralyze the poisoned bunny. Level up for Medicham. Huzzah. But yeah, I, I definitely think that before I do the last, like, special episode that I have unlocked currently, I should do some, like, normal dungeon runs and try to stock up on Reviver Seeds. <laughs> They're only 800 Poke Bucks. I think I could do that. Hello, Kecleon. We are not going to fight you today. Because, well, first off, I would feel bad. Damn it. Oh, but that's adorable animation. Just huddling with her ears. That's cute. Do-do-do. Would you kindly die? What is with all these critical hits? Is this what the power band's true power is? Criticals? Also, I've been watching, like, some videos on, like, the glitches and stuff of Generation 1. And apparently, a move in Generation 1 that was meant to increase your critical hit rate actually lowered your critical hit rate. Which is just hilarious. And is something you'd think that, like, a troll game would do. But no, it was actually a normal Pokemon game. Oh, hey, level up time. Yeah, level up. Level up! Let's get out of here, gang. Silly Pokemon, this isn't Pokemon Coliseum. I actually played that not too long ago. I still need to maybe eventually get around to doing the post-game of that. At least, like, the post-story stuff. I'm not gonna hunt down and catch Raikou. Catching him is a bitch. Will you stop it with your multi-hit moves and die already? La Punny leveled up to level 34. Silly game, that's the level of every lol punny. Lol punny? What the fuck? La Punny. I do not know. Please die. I'm gonna stand here in the corner and heal. Who needs orange berries when you have time? Dude. You bitch, die. Damn it, you're gonna kill me. Well, that's just on me. Somehow, I'm not dead. I'm not dead! I'm so happy! I keep forgetting to use Endure. It's a move, it is there, I'm just not using it! <laughs> Strategies for the week. I don't think you can proc the fighting condition to fight Kecleon. Huh. Interesting. I was there for the Pokemon Coliseum parts. Oh, sorry, my brain bit bit my brain is terrible. It just keeps on going, going, going. 
is like take in as much like as information and then just goes and it's just like hey i played pokemon coliseum recently it's just like yeah B brain is just terrible sometimes Blech. oh i can see a light coming from over there that's got to be the exit it's not welcome to hell What? That this is the place where we started. What? Why? When we took the right entrance, we ended up right back here. When we took the left entrance, I thought we'd progress. What in the world is going on? How, how do we move forward? I wonder if there's some kind of puzzle. We probably have to solve a puzzle in order to move on. Hey, Gardevoir, got any ideas? No. Sorry, but I don't have the faintest idea. Right here, there's two entrances, but other than that, there's nothing. Hmm, if God of War doesn't know, then there's not much chance that we'd figure it out. Wait a sec. I don't want to be put on the same... <laughs> what? I don't want to be put on the same level as you, Medicham. Eh? What do you mean by that? Just ask yourself, have you have, have you figured anything out, Law Pony? Well, no. Actually, I don't have a clue either. That answers that, and that was pretty much what I expected to hear, so I'm not mad. We've been together for a while, haven't we? That's just like you, Medicham. Thank you. You're welcome. However, honestly, what should we do? Hey, wait! Oh, Wigglytuff. What? What? Yay! I caught you! My perfect apple! Your wiggly tough? <laughs> that moment of him like turning around just got me for some reason. Oh, it's Team Charm! Yay, friendly friends! Wh why? Why is Wiggly Tough here? Oh, let me guess! You've covered such of the treasure as well! Huh? Treasure? I don't know anything about that. Treasure, I mean. My perfect apple just up and ran away from me. I was chasing it as it rolled away, and somehow I found myself here. That is a bouncy perfect apple. Oh, I see. It's fine, it's fine. So, what are you all doing here? We can't seem to go any farther. You see the two entrances over there? It doesn't matter which entrance we enter, no matter what, we end up right back here. We guess there's a puzzle to solve, but we're all really puzzled. Can you think of anything to try, Wigglytuff? Yay! <laughs> you're, you're asking the airhead questions here. Perfect apple! Perfect apple! Oh, why aren't you paying attention to our explanation? If you've got a plan, we'd love to hear it. If you could lend us your wisdom, we might be able to figure this out. I think we're gonna have to look for help from someone else. You said it! It was a mistake to ask him. He's not listening to a word we say! Nope, I'm listening carefully. <laughs> huh? You helped me, so it would be terribly rude for me to not pay attention. Thinking about it, it's a pretty cool problem, isn't it? There's only two entrances here. If you enter either one, swoosh! Start again, start again! I give up too, I don't know. However, however, I guess I wonder if the paths you can see are the only ones. The visible paths aren't the only ones. Oh, whoops! M -m my perfect apple! The perfect apple! The perfect apple! Perfect apple! <laughs> and this is how Wigglytuff is the greatest explorer to ever explore. He is a god of dumbass. <laughs> I like the idea of them being silly but powerful. It makes the best characters. Like, I know there's the trope of crouching moron hidden badass, but it's like, I kind of like crouching moron badass moron. <laughs> Where'd it go? Wiggly Tuff just walked through the wall. What in the world? Wiggly Tuff disappeared. But if that's the case, you know it! If that's the case, then that wall... That wall might be invisible... An invisible hidden doorway! What? Could that be true? If that's true... God of all, La Paddy, let's find out for ourselves! 
fear the power of the dumbass. You cannot beat him. He will always dumbass his way through victory. Bleh. And we have plenty of totter seeds for if uh, Team AWD is the final boss. Let's see, do I have an extra, like, a stun seed? I do have an extra stun seed, so good, good. Come on, let's hurry! Through the wall, between the two paths! It couldn't be that the wall between the two entrances is... Maybe it's a hidden doorway! Continue through the wall! Alright, let's go! Where are we? In a limestone cavern. Past that wall, this huge stone limestone cave opens up. I knew it. I knew that wall held the secret to finding the correct path onward. Wigglytuff isn't here. He probably went on ahead. We should get going, too. He's still chasing his dilly -dee. And yeah, I, I agree that my personal headcanon is that Wigglytuff is the one that was selling friend areas in Rescue Team. I, it would kind of make sense because he went on, on many explorations following, like, uh, Armaldo's, like, uh, blah, 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 imprisonment. So it would make sense for him to travel all the way around and then maybe end up there. And, like, he his exploration might just lead to him finding a bunch of places that he then sells the location to for people to have all the friends that they want. It's just a warp seed. Why, how dare you have a trap there like that, you jerk. <laughs> and plus the fact that they do both use Yumta kind of confirms it. <laughs> new dungeon, new dungeon. Finally, new dungeon time. Well, we just found that stairs. We can explore for a few. It's just that I don't want to get locked into a bad situation. I jump kick! Damn it! I'm terrible with the type chart. I rely on overwhelming force to win. Who needs strategy when you've got sick ass bunny thighs? Quick law, bunny. <laughs> Crush their head in between your thighs. Well, that's just bullshit if you ask me. How dare you use it twice in a row, you bitch. Using a m m ranged attack like that twice in a row. <laughs> Punch Kecleon. No, I will not do the bad thing. Kecleon is friend. Or your worst... <laughs> I can be your merchant or your worst fucking nightmare. Kecleon in his edgy phase. When Kecleon was a teenager, he worked at Hot Topic. Ah, Midway Point. I wonder if we're gonna have another boss before AWD, because obviously they have to be the, the end boss. We've come pretty far, haven't we? I wonder where Wigglytuff went. Maybe farther ahead? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe we're already ahead of him. Whatever. I feel like the treasure is really close. Everyone, be extra careful from here on in. This is some nice music. Doo -doo. Speaking of, what is Team AWD up to now? I wonder where they are. Never mind. Instead of worrying about them, I should be worrying about us. Lopani, let's find some treasure this time. We should be more cautious from here on, Lopani. No problem. <laughs> so this is like a reformed Bruiser Kecleon. I'm not sure if I know what a Bruiser Kecleon is. I am a fool. Kill this bug. Kill him. Break him into dust. Eat his, his face. 
Hello, Survivor. Die. You ever have somebody scream at you so loud you die? Well, that's not nice at all. Damn it. I was meaning to use agility in response. I didn't even need to. Then again, Metacham only sometimes uses their super powerful attacks, so who knows. This is some nice music. Reform like criminal. Nah, I don't think Kecleon would ever be a criminal. He'd just be a slightly edgy teen working at a shop. And he's like, now I'm going to become a cheerful person that works at a shop. Oh, I'm cringing. Get blasted by voice instead. Also, like, the one thing that I really, like, know about, well, quote-unquote, <coughs> know about, uh, Team Charm are all the memes going, this Gardevoir is totally the, s well, actually, hmm. No, that wouldn't work, because the memes are, this Gardevoir is totally the Gardevoir that Gengar knows from Rescue Team. Although it doesn't fully work because this takes place in the past, but who knows? Maybe this takes place, like, after Wigglytuff uh, was a real estate mogul. And after all the friend areas were bought, he moved on to go do more exploring, to then maybe head home to his home continent or something. I don't know. <laughs> what are you buying, Ke Kecleon? Exactly. Quit flattering me into chaos. Good job, you murdered him good. Confusion is evil. I don't even know if Law Punny has non trader. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, this is like an enemy enemyless dungeon. Where are the stairs? Well, I was a fool. Why do I keep trying to do non-effective things against debugs? You kill him, Metacham. You kill him good. Stand here and heal for just a bit. I can take on a Savipa. Thank God for not poisoning me. Oh, thank you, Pokey Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of Jesus, I should probably be. <laughs> Agility! 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 You can try and double team all you want, you're still gonna die. Kill him! Kill him hard! Kill him fast! The streamer of the mansion, is it you? Nah. I do I, even if I had the m well that's kind of annoying even if I had the money for a mansion I wouldn't want one my paranoia of like did somebody break in to this giant ass house would get to me well, that's very rude will you fucking stop if you quick attack you asshole I'm gonna throw gravel rock at you Well, that's rude. Oh, 
Of course, all all the enemies now are coming where Metacham is standing. And plus, like, a mansion is just horribly impractical. Well, that's mean. Jesus Christ, why is there all the enemies in here now? Well, you play. I should have used my agility. I am fool. I keep forgetting. I have moves that I can use. And what do you mean? Bam. Please die. Please die. And now we can just stay here and heal. What the fuck? That's... That, that's... That's fucking stupid. Fuck you, game. Fuck off. That is stupid. Fuck off. That is the dumbest shit ever. I am tempted to restart from the save. I'm restart. I want to restart from the save because that's so unbelievably stupid. I hate that. What the fuck? There should just not be moves like that in the AI pool. Fuck off. <laughs> the AI can take you from all the way over here because we we hate you. That's so stupid. Unbelievably brainless brainless design that is will you fuck off why is the AI being just unbelievably evil fuck off it's just so unbelievably stupid I hate it Especially because me getting a room-wide move is incredibly rare. And then the game is like, we're going to give room-wide moves to all these Pokemon. So they can kill you. And like, one hit. And also, like, if it's a room-wide move, shouldn't it, like, do no damage? Like, on the same, like, thought process of, like, the multi-hit moves? It just seems weird. We're going to have to make... Like, these moves do, like, no damage, but these other moves, all the damage. It's stupid. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Like, some kind of eruption move was used five postcodes away and basically two-shot my entire team. Oh, Earth Power. It looked like it was lava, but I guess it was Earth. What's my favorite food? I don't know. Honestly, I'd probably have to be... Because there's a lot of good choices. I don't really have a favorite food. I more just, like, have a lot of food that I really like, but, like... When I'm in the mood for it. But if I had to narrow it down... Like, I don't know. I'd probably have to say pizza. Pizza is a nice, just basic thing. It's a nice selection of flavor... Toppings can really alter it. Just like pepperoni pizza is a classic. It's safe. It's good. We've come pretty far and lost all our fucking reviver seeds. How much longer till we find the treasure? Don't be so impatient, Metacham. We'll get to it sooner or later. At the very least, if I do die to Team AWD, who is obviously going to be the boss fight, Unless Wigglytuff comes on in and is just like, bodies a AWD for us. I would not mind that. <laughs> I would not mind Wigglytuff just rolling on in and be like, you're going to keep me from my perfect apple? So you have chosen Yumta. But I think my totter seed should carry us. Hopefully. Everyone, look! There's a light over there! Yay! What is it? Let's go and find out, leads them right back to the beginning again. 
top five. Yeah, pizza is definitely up there. And then, like, I'm not sure where we got the recipe, but it's called a taco ring. Where basically you cook, like, ground beef, mix in, like, taco seasoning or your own favorite seasoning. Mix in a bit of uh, cheese. And then you lay out these, uh, like, uh, breaded crescent rolls. And you fold the crescent rolls on top of the meat. Or, like, you lay out the crescent rolls, you pour the meat on top of the crescent rolls, and you fold them over and kind of make, like, uh, an encasement that isn't, like, fully encasing them. But it's kind of like a pinwheel kind of shape where it's mostly covered but there's still like strips of meat that are still shown to like kind of let them breathe then you sprinkle more cheese on top or like on top of like the meat before you fold then on top it's like it's a very it's a very delicious meal very nice <laughs> kiwi is the forbid forbidden pineapple pizza is good like i know it's a meme to hate on it but hey there's probably worse toppings for God's sakes, we already put tomato on pizza, and that's a fruit. Eh. Plus, like, there is something to be said of, like, uh, because I forget what, like, flavor type pizza usually is classified. Because, but salty and sweet do go together a lot of the time. So I could see pineapple work. That sounds delicious, Neon. I know, I just, I really like it. And also spaghetti and meatballs with homemade, to uh... Uh, tomato sauce topping is also very nice. <laughs> Wiggly God. Wiggly Tough could be a god, for all we know. And what is forbidding topping? Like I said, I don't really think there is really a forbidden topping. It's mostly personal preference. If I had to choose an actual, like, forbidden topping, I'd probably say anchovies. I don't think anchovies should be on pizza. Mango on pizza? Maybe. Depends on the mango. Medicham Law Honey, there's a treasure chest over there. And it's green. Wow! The treasure chest is huge! The rumors of a treasure in the depths of Boulder Quarry seem to be true. You said it. Looks like treasure to me. Law Honey, open it! Quick, I can't wait! <laughs> Patience is a virtue, Medicham. Opening a treasure chest should be done with grace and splendor. After all, aren't we Team Charm? I know, I know, but... Aw, oh, this is but as giddy to me! Forget the graces, Law Bunny. Just hurry up and open it like a slut! <laughs> Can you be a little more mindful? A little less rash? All right, all right, I'll open it. Ta-da! The moment this treasure chest is opened, what kind of treasure will be revealed to our eyes? What wealth of beautiful things will we find? The thought is filling me with excitement. <laughs> Spaghetti tacos? I don't... That's that, that seems weird. Like, I don't think spaghetti noodles would go well in a taco shell. But, like, meatballs and, like, spaghetti sauce in taco shells, that could possibly work. That, that could be an interesting combination. <laughs> what would make you uh, stare at someone evilly for combining... That depends, because, like, there's a difference between odd combinations and actually evil combinations. It all depends. Oh, truly, truly, please, don't disappoint me. I don't care about all that. Open it already, La Pani! Here goes. La Pani, open the treasure chest. Team AWD bounces out. Ta-da! What? What kind of treasure is inside? Oh, no, nothing! The treasure chest. There's nothing in it. I'm just totally empty. I don't believe this. Maybe I'm simply exhausted. Maybe I'm simply imagining things. It's not your imagination. There's absolutely nothing inside that treasure chest, but why not? You! Team AWD? Ah, the treasure! Did you already sneak off with it? Huh. Looks like we were too late. No, hang on! We're not the ones who took the treasure. We put, When we opened the treasure chest, it was totally empty. Don't lie, you cheater! It's not a lie. It's the truth. Huh. If you're going to lie, could you at least be a tiny little bit more convincing? What? 
If you're going to keep lying like that, then you're not a real exploration team. What did you say? You're underqualified to obtain that treasure. I guess we'll just have to take it by force then. Hmph! You're all talk! Attacking us with false accusations. I know the rumors were true. You're just villains. We just can't forgive an exploration team like you. We, a, we made a promise to center it too. Looks like we'll be able to keep it. We're the treasure hunters team charm. You, you're, we're going to punish you, so get ready. Huh. I knew it would come to this from the moment we first met. You've never come up against a band of thieves like Team AWD. Prepare to feel our true terribleness. Make sure you savor it. Arbok, Drapion, let's go. Yeah! Medicham, Lopunny, here they come! Any time! Okay, let's go! I still find it amusing that they have their own unique boss transition. Gonna use up our agility. Again, this is some boppin' music! Wah! Alright. Violent time! Metacham, go after foes. Endure! Alright. And now let's just uh, utterly annihilate you, I guess. I think I overprepared a little bit. And it's the unaffected move that killed him. <laughs> the Team Charm boss battle does hit. It is good music. So blast! They're pretty strong. Gah. You did pretty well, but don't underestimate us. Team AWD's true power. This isn't all of it. You guys, let's go! Yeah! Gardevoir Metacham, here it comes, be careful! Let's take care of it. Let's beef them at their own game! Oh! Yum <laughs> What? Who are you? Wigglytuff? This is Wigglytuff? This guy? In recent years, he's made quite a name for himself despite how young he is. The exploration prodigy. That Wigglytuff, this is him. Everyone, wait a moment. Both of you, please stop fighting. Why should we stop, Wigglytuff? They're bad guys, you know. That may be true, but fighting isn't good. Besides... You. You got caught in the trap to bring you to battle. What did you say? This fight was planned? Yes, this fight was set up. That's... who did? The one who planned it is the boss who lives in this limestone cave. I don't know why he did it, but he wanted Team Charm and Team AWD to knock each other out. And by making you all focus on the battle, I think someone is going to go going to great lengths to hide something. He probably just wanted to protect the treasure, I think. The treasure? Just protect it? Yep, but what I've said so far, everything is only a guess. That's why you won't know the truth. Unless you ask. Right! What I said! You were listening, weren't you? W Wigglytuff? 
Is Wigglytuff talking to the treasure chest? Uh, hey, was that the uh, truth? Tell me. Uh, <laughs> they actually made a sprite for the treasure chest. <laughs> Fun fact, if damage number hits a thousand plus damage, the text turns red. That's cool. How long would you have to play this game? And under what circumstances would you have to be under for that to actually happen? What? The treasure chest! It's shaking and rattling! I knew it was a ditto! I knew it was you! What the? Is that a Pokemon? His name is Ditto. He's a Pokemon who can use the move Transform. T transform? So you use Transform to turn into a treasure chest? Treasure chest? Yes. When my food was stolen in the southern jungle, that was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I did that. I'm really sorry. And... Team Charm. I deceived you many times, Team Charm. I'm sorry. I knew that Sentret wasn't to be trusted. Huh? Deceived? Deceived. Deceived, as you saw. I have the power to use the move Transform. I was a treasure chest earlier, but that's not all. I can also transform into Pokemon. Is that true? Don't tell me. Back then? I know it was the motherfucker. I knew it. 100 floor dungeon. That's true. Well, one of Violent Seed, level 100, fully evolved and like a boosted attack. That's true. All right, let's do our best and get through this jungle. Um, who are you? I'm Blossom. I live in this jungle. If you're talking about the treasure in Boulder Quarry, you really should give up. Was it back then, when we were warned earlier in the southern jungle that Blossom and... After watching you, I feel like I can trust you. I have a request. A request? Yes, uh, Team AWD. Team AWD needs to be punished. The one who asked us to punish Team AWD, that Sentret too. They were really you? You? That's right. Blossom and Sentret both. Honestly, uh, they were me. I used Transform for deceiving you up to now. I'm really truly sorry. Why'd you do that? Do that because, uh, just as Wigglytuff said earlier, it was all to protect this place. Protect this place? This place, yes. Uh, here, I'll show you around. Um, please come this way. I like that he kind of repeats a part of the question again. It, it's a bit of personality to him. I know you can hit 100, uh, 1,000 plus damage by using Rialu Stab, Boosted Focus Punch, plus Violent Seed, plus Vile Seed on a Pokemon weak to fighting. Additional fun fact, using this setup, you can one-shot Primal Dialga. I'd believe that. <laughs> I definitely believe that. Oh, and the hit needs to be, uh, to be critical, but, uh, you can hit that damage around level 30-ish. Wow. We are, we've arrived. He's protecting a Time Gear. Huh? Ah! What? What's this? What's this light? Interesting. A ditto is the guardian of a time gear. Th this is. There's something floating in the sky and shining. It's incredibly mysterious. It's an incredibly mysterious scene, but it's so. It's so pretty. Yes, very. It's emitting this blue-green radiance from its center. That light is illuminating the whole cave. This is very beautiful. It's just fascinating. I've never seen anything like it before. But, but this thing, what is it exactly? You don't know? It's a time gear. Huh? A time gear? This is? This is the first time I've seen it too. This is, this is, yes. This is a time gear. To protect this, that's why I'm here. A time gear, huh? I guess we don't have any choice. Arbok, Drapion, 
We're going home. Huh? But wait up, you. What? You're a band of thieves that does bad things, aren't you? So you're just going to go home without stealing anything? Huh. <laughs> if it were some other treasure, it'd be fine. But you can't just steal a time gear and take it with you. Even though we're scoundrels, we at least know that much. Is that so? Yeah. There's some things you just can't take. Like a time gear. Interesting. Very interesting. When I think I've seen this before, the intro. Actually, yeah, that, that, that's the intro time gear. Huh. By the way, we're not finished with you. The next time we see you, we're not going to go easy on you. Arbok, Drapion, let's go. Next time, we'll beat you up. Remember that. <laughs> it's a date. So which one of you gets Weavile? Phew, so the treasure here was just the time gear. Up until now, we've gotten every treasure we've aimed for. Yeah, this time we found something we can't take. No way. It has to be this way. There are some things in this world that you just can't take. Even though we can't take the treasure with us, I'd call this a success, wouldn't you? We even had more <laughs> than a fair fight against that villainous Team AWD. Oh, that's right. Besides, that beautiful and precious time gear. We saw one for the first time, didn't we? Oh, yeah. That's right. Yep, that's right. And we made it successfully through the maze that has stumped so many others before us. I knew it. We are the best, aren't we? <laughs> Um, that's great, everyone. Well, I'm headed home now. Gardevoir, Medicham? Yes, got it. <laughs> huh? What's with everyone? Wigglytuff, you're not half bad. We've got a better opinion of you now. Huh? You saw through Ditto's treasure chest disguise. You're really cool. Is that so? I see. <laughs> so... What will you do next, Wigglytuff? Huh? Next? Yes, next. I wonder. I don't really have any plans. Well, if you'd like, you could always come explore with us. With you? Yes, with us. What do you think? Hmm, what should I do? It would be fun exploring with you, but I've never explored with anyone other than my master. Lopani, that thing. I'm on it, Gardevoir. Hey, um, Wigglytuff, if you were to come exploring with us... <laughs> They're gonna bribe him with perfect apples. We could give you this. Would you like that? Oh, it's a perfect apple! But I haven't decided if I'm giving it to you yet. Let's get something straight. We're all pretty fast moving. Do you think you could keep up with us? What do you think? How about a race? Three, two, one, go! Yay! Go, go! I'll go everywhere! Yum That's kind of amusing. I like that. I actually kind of like that. It's kind of also hilarious. Wigglytuff gets all the bitches. He's a bi icon. This is one of my favorite themes in the game. It is a pretty boppin' theme. But yeah, I actually quite liked that special episode. It had good music, it had unique, like, visuals. It included Team AWD, it included Wigglytuff. And it introduced an interesting team. So, yeah, I'd say this is one of the better, like, special episodes. Hmm. Like, the only reason why I would still put, like, today's Oh My Gosh over this one is that it included a lot of stuff with the, like, other guild members. Which is what I really like. But I do find it hilarious that it almost feels like there was preferential treatment for this one. Although, I could see this being a special episode that was created for Sky. I don't know. 
I wouldn't know. For all I know, this, all the special episodes were created for Sky, or it could just be that all the episodes were already made for the Explorer games. Who knows? I am unaware. I am an uneducated fool. Remember to stay hydrated. I still think that, like, that one move that hit the, like, uh, Earth Power was a little too strong. As, then again, move, like, room wiping moves seem to be strong in general, which is kind of hilarious. We have to nerf, we have to nerf, like, multi-hit moves. But this move that, like, absolutely annihilates you, we need to keep that in. <laughs> we need to do a setup to make Silas a Kecleon Master Annihilator. <laughs> All the special episodes were made for Sky. Ooh. That makes Sky even super specialer. Very nice. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's also one of the longer ones, which I appreciate, but we're going to continue because we can. Oh, neat. It added. I just. It, they added Wigglytuff to the bosses we beat. <laughs> That's amazing. Ba 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 ba. Well, let's go around town and see everything. I don't think anybody has any changed dialogue. Let's go open the boxes. Uh, I have money. Yep. This is art to appraisal. Appraise my dick. Let the appraisal begin. Quick, quick, quick! Quick, ha! And so, it is revealed within the boxes were a thunderstone, an electric claw, white gummy, taut claw, max elixir, violent seed. At least there's some stuff that I can use. I do have a lot of just trading material. Hello, Mother Kangaskhan. Mama Kangaskhan is the best. I guess we'll put the past scarf up there. Put away. Oh yeah, uh, I guess we'll also take like the spikes and rocks that I don't want to use. And... We'll sell them. <laughs> Just so that we can. But let's see. What can we buy? Hmm. Some gummies. But <laughs> none of them are what we desire. So we're not going to buy them. I was hoping for reviver seeds. Uh, nothing. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, I've got to get money to buy that. That 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 I think that's very important. You fought Wiggly Tough. Uh, when a last stream, I do believe, unless my memory is just shot. But I do believe it was. Ah, that works too. I do believe that it was last stream, where we also found out that, for whatever reason, Silas and I cannot evolve. I was personally hoping that, like, um, Armaldo would have been the master of all things bad, helping out Wigglytuff in, like, uh, training up the next generation of people like, hey... <laughs> you, hey master, you be a creepy monster to scare my apprentices to see if they're worthy of going out into the world to space everything. I think that would have been amusing. Oh, do not buy the key. Oh, well, I have money to spend anyway. And that just means that I have an emergency key. Oh, yeah, that's what I need to do for deposit. I'm a fool. Yeah, because I have 34,000. I I have nothing to spend my money on. <laughs> hey, Team ADW, we saw you get your ass kicked. Let's go down to the beach. 
Yeah, we're gonna check the swap shop, but I just want to check the beach first. No bottles. It feels like there haven't been bottles here since Doug Trio started hanging out at the beach. I think Doug Trio is taking all my bottles. The only problem is when it comes to the key is that I won't know, like, what dungeon does or does not have, like, a thing that I need. Like, I, w I won't know going into a dungeon if it has a locked door or not. Let's see. Another Valiant Rock. Wait a minute. Oh! A mitt ring increases the damage inflicted on ghost type enemies with normal and fighting type moves. But it means getting rid of my Rialu card and my Valiant Rock. Hmm. But I, I, of course, I'm going to get it. Of course, I'm going to get it. I just want to look at everything else. Just because I can. Probo Pass, don't care. Dang it. I don't know why. But where's mine? Oh, but we can get, uh, get another Valiant Rock at the very least, I think. Never mind. If only I had another Rialu card. Mm. Also, Armaldo being the Grandmaster of all things banned sounds absolutely hilarious. Keys are never used in post-game story dungeons, okay? That makes me happy. I just want to look at everything else, though. Gastrodon, we don't have a Gastrodon. Skunk Tank, we're not getting that for... <laughs> we're not getting that for the ban. Oh, up, well, I guess, uh... Increases damage inflicted on ghost types. Hmm. Uh, because I have a lot of Rialu tails. One second. I want to quickly check and see what the like combined effect of all these are just to be safe because it slightly boosts defense and special defense slightly boosts slightly boosts so nothing crazy crazy nice to have but not crazy swamp seal which i do believe is like yeah for swampert and i guess we'll get this emit ring because we can for the boy Where's my Dusk Globe, Krogunk? I want to be immune to fighting. It's unbelievably valuable. So incredibly rare. I rarely see something so valuable. Treat it... <laughs> Except at the extremely rare, precious, the mid-ring. Because Valiant Rocks and stuff... Huh, interesting. Now the Valiant Rock is gone. Huh. Interesting. It's like it knows. Personally, I do find it to be worth it just because I can have it. But let me see. I just want to check my personal, like, view list. Because I've yet to see a Black Silk, Dark Dust, Dark Gym, or Dust Globe. Can't wait to get them. I want them. But yeah, basically since it's the super duper rare up there thing, it'll just be nice for him to have a bit more and we can go... Dang it. I want to go grab the stuff before I forget. Because I know that we have a few duplicates of Rialu specific items from the swap shop that I've been hoarding. For, uh, not, not that. For just a, such a situation. Let's see. Bop, bop, bop. First off. I think we only have Rialu Tails. We'll quickly go through. Jinx, Smooch, Cherub, Swamp, Swamp, Eevee, another Rialu Tail. A lot of Rialu Tails. Just absolute hoarding up in here. Bop, 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 But I think I'd rather have it than not, because it's the rare thing. And we'll quickly save, then go to Spinda. To 
so we can do our typical stuff. Got anything to say? That can cause a problem too, exactly. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? What's the discovery? Items or new location? We're offering higher grade of recycled items. Yay! Please keep recycling. Alright, recycle. You know, you've got a new offer. What's the offer that you're offering, mate? Uh, protein? Protein, I'll talk eh? Yes? I'm gonna give this protein to the boy. And I do believe that we now get gold ticket by giving out eight items. Yas. Let's see. We have way too many special bands. Get rid of all this grimy food. All right, here's my gold ticket. Redeem now. Well, let's go up red. And just work our way down. Is it a win? All right, is it a win or is it not? It's a normal win. Better than that time than they tricked me with like, is it a super big win? No, it's a loss. That was very painful. And I got a blizzard, something I can't use. At least the gold is going to absolutely speed up my recycling. Which I just am very happy with. Get rid of some... We have way too many apples. <laughs> way too many apples. I do like that it, the... This, like, system kind of feeds into itself. You get a higher rank, you can give away more items for better prizes, and that's a loss, damn it. What's the consolation prize? It's a cleanse orb. So you mean after I gave you all that grimy food, you're like, surprise, idiot. <laughs> it would have been great. I don't need that many... Uh, like, I'm never gonna use most of these orbs. Like, I'm just not... Even, like, the Sea Trap Orb. Like, that is something that I require... Like, per floor. It's just like... It, traps are only annoying if they hit me again and again and again and again. Another loss. Sadness. What's the consolation? An uh, escape orb. At least that's something that I might very well use. Probably not, but still. It's something nice to have. More recycling. More recycling. I have so many goddamn apples. Buy some apples. I don't need to. They have come to buy me to death. Oh yeah, all these plane seeds from all of my failed attempts at, like, killing people. Let's go for red, I guess. <laughs> my throat's still protesting. Another win. Should have done double red. Alright, what's my prize? Rock slide. I'm getting a bunch of tins that I'm, like, never going to use. You know what? I'm gonna recycle some revivers, get some reviver seeds. At least two. Because I want more reviver seeds, but I don't want to get rid of, like, all my escape orbs. I wonder if I get to, like, master rank. What would a... like... A master ticket do. God, I have too many of these frickin' plane seeds. They are a testament to my failures. Blue! And another loss. Man, Ornberry. Won't say no to that. It's very helpful. We'll do one more. Dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun. You can have the revisor. I need to go grab those ginsengs. <laughs> Again, rescue team is like screaming. It's just like, you just find HMs to the point that you call them TMs. We need them to go to dangerous dungeons. And another loss, sadness. Honestly, I'd recycle the cleanse orbs they give you. Maybe. Hello, hello. We are doing our recycling and getting re <laughs> They gave me another cleanse orb. Hello, Spinda. We have at least a few gummies that we want to nom on. I shall eat it. Or drink it. Thank you very much, Spinda, for like not... <laughs> like charging for this service. Spinda's basically like a Patreon funded, like, what's the word? Cafe. No, I, Silas gets to get drunk too. He gets to get crunk. Shake it this way, shake it that, and stir it all around, and it's done! A savory fragrance and unique bitterness come together for a mature flavor. Give me that grass gummy. <laughs> Drink weed every day, I guess, here at Spinda Cafe. <laughs> Lucky I wanted a cleanse orb many times and never got one. Ain't that always how it is? Like, I require this. Meanwhile, somebody else, I have no idea what to do with this. <laughs> Basically, it's like with the HM moves that are just TM in this world. The rescue team members are like, why? Why does the explorers just find HMs on the floor that we require to go to these dungeons? They don't even need them to get to dungeons. They just have them. And they're just there. Haha, <laughs> HMSTM go burr. And we're also gonna grab those ginsengs that I can nom nom on while in a dungeon. And either become super powerful or power up my boy. I'm a fool, I should have done multiple. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. Uh, so Prism Rank, is, as it's called, gives you a 55% win rate. Miracle Chest, it's a big win. I can only imagine. Well, since nothing has happened, we need to save. We've done so much. We did so much recycling! Let's look at our job list. It's maxed out because we have a few things to do. Deliver Reviver Seed and please save my friend. Anything else for the Northern Desert? No, we shall go to the Northern Desert then. All right, we're gonna go grab an extra Reviver Seed, I suppose. And uh, was n don't have to worry about much. Well, actually, I named my Rialu. Ah, I'm trying to... Aria, if my brain is saying it. I name all my Rialus that. Meanwhile, my brain jumps all over the place on naming conventions. I just go by vibes. Vibes is how I work. I think I have enough Reviver Seed, so we can just go. Alright, job list. Is it activated? It is activated. Then we are gonna go to the Northern Desert. We haven't been there in forever. We should be able to annihilate them. Like, I honestly don't know why I named Silas Silas. I just did. Oh, I missed you. Oh, wait. Uh, Silas, what is your tactic set to? You're set to go after foes? I'm going to have you not do that, just in case. Honestly, I don't even think I need to worry about you too much. Let's see. First things first, I need to come here and uh, put Faint Attack up so we can Ginseng the hell out of that and I can kill everything. Yeah, powers up the topmost move. Nom nom. Uh, yeah, the R is an Aura. Ah, Aura and E. And the EA is Ia. Aurea. 
Aria. Like, yeah. Ar. Aura. Aura. Aurea. Aurea, I think. I'm terrible with names. You can pronounce it in front of me, and I would just die. But yeah, I'm just going to hoard all the Gensing, because, sadly, Silas cannot be trusted to use his best moves sometimes. So, yung yung. So now I have a plus five faint attack. I am going to be a god. Only three pokey, you hurt my soul game. I was just going to say that I don't think I need to worry... That's not what I meant to do. I forgot I need to put my moves back. Excellent, I leveled up! That you did. That you did. <coughs> my bad. I forgot to put my instant kill move back on. Prism ranks give you uh, a gold ticket potentially if you lose. <laughs> kind of like that time that I was doing silver tickets and I kept getting, like, prize tickets as consolation prizes. been so long that I forgot that this place is like begins with a three. Uh, you said it right there. Yay! I'm gonna throw a rock at you. And then I'm gonna kill you. So that we can just get a bunch of experience. And by get a bunch, I mean some. Weirdly, it's regular wins net you an item that needs another item to make Kecleon recruitable with a high-level Mon. That basically seems to be a tradition in Mystery Dungeon, where they're just like, oh, you want a Kecleon? <laughs> you basically have to prepare more for Kecleon than saving the world. Total number of items on this floor is three. Silas, you did not need to do that. Is that you saying you wanted again sing for your 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 palm move? I'm sorry, but you just have terrible priority sometimes. Listen, the next time we get again sing, it's all yours. Okay, oh, yeah, we'll just smack you because we can. Grab you, because then we can sell the Iron Thorns for, like, five pokey. <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, Kecleon, I have brought to you basically enough Iron Thorns that you can melt them down and build, like, an entire city. And it's like, five pokey for the lot of them. You have negative 49.5% recruitment rate. So you need to be, like maximum level, have like a joy ribbon or something, whatever it's called, and then just get insanely lucky. Because the people who make this game sometimes go, we want people to suffer. Hello, Trap Inch. Oddly, Trap Inch is slowly becoming one of my favorite Pokemon because I have now read two Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfics that feature one as a main character. Granted, the first one, like, also really liked him as a Flygon, but still. Die. Doo -doo. Just turn off his ability to use the move, Golden Mask. That's true, I could turn off his ability to move things, but I, I was mostly making the joke of, like, basically continuing the joke of Silas. He is but a poor poor scared child, but then the moment he gets into a dungeon, he goes murder mode. And he just overkills everything. <laughs> so I'm just like, you did not need to do 300 damage to that that poor little Aaron. Hey, hey, Ron. We are in a dungeon. Sorry, Sandshrew, you're, a, you're in a low-level dungeon. Like, then again, maybe I should start recruiting... Pokemon from random dungeons at least once per dungeon if they ask. And I don't know why, but every single time I look at Sandshrew... Sure, you can join. What are we gonna call you? To finish my thought, uh... Is like... I, I don't remember much about an episode of the Pokemon anime. But it's like episode 3 or something episode, like, it's an early episode, single digit, I think, 
where Ash and Pikachu and team find, like, a tent of a guy who's just super working out, and I swear to God that there is a sand shrew that has a weird little, like, stretchy muscle band, like, ring. Like, there's a ring in the center of his chest that has stretchy armband things to his limbs to, like, f constantly put tension on your muscles, and I swear on some level that that is kinky. It's some kind of BDSM gimp sand slash up in here. I don't know why, it just haunts my memories. But what are we gonna call you? We're not gonna call you Gimp. That would just be mean. Hmm. You know what, it's gonna be, it's kinda stupid, but I, I'm just gonna call you Sandy. Come along, Sandy. Now don't die and waste our Reviva Seeds. Oh, you're gonna wish that you were a gimp. And now I'm just imagine- Oh, it's a chest! Yes. Every single time a chest spawns, immediately! <laughs> I once used Hacks to play as a purple Kecleon. It has a funny sleep animation. The death animation on a Kecleon facing down. Interesting. Violent seeds are awesome. <laughs> I've only used them once. And that was just tonight. In the blah blah blah, the Team Charm special episode. So I don't know their the full extent of their awesomeness. Hmm. You can evolve into a big old guy, you can come with us. What are we gonna call you, Larvatar? What shall we call you? Pearly Neon dreams of sand shrews being tied up. I don't. I just remember an episode that has, like, muscle-related, almost BDSM-type gear on a sand shrew. Bl blame the anime. It haunts my dreams. And by that, I mean my waking moments where I think, ah, the Pokemon anime. Oh, yeah, there was, like, a sand shrew gimp in there. Really, Pikachu is the one that got tied up. I could call you Godzilla, but nah, what am I gonna call you? I'm gonna call you Sally. Come along, Sally. Now don't die and waste our Reviva Seeds. Or you're gonna wish that you were like Shin Godzilla. The one that's like in constant pain and made by the Invangelion guy. <laughs> You're gonna wish for the worst type of reality if you fuck with me. You're gonna wish that you were that pepperoni guy in that pizza tower, constantly suffering in front of pizza clowns if you fuck with me. And now we shall go. Haunts or lingers. Either or. It's just a ran- it's an invasive thought at this point. An invasive memory. Hello, Carnivine, die. Hello, Cactoon and Cacnea, die. We already have a Cacnea, goodbye. Another chest, yay. It's a cute box! What, do you find the- the morbid visage of a- a child wearing their mother's skull, cute. What's wrong with you? Die. <laughs> Getting dizzy from the hunger. Shouldn't it be thirst? We're out in the desert. Oh, Silas, you have to help me quench my thirst. Pepino Spaghetti, yes, that guy. I didn't know his name. I've never played Pizza Tower. All I know is that the music is amazing. You are going to die. You there. Rescue, be gone. 
Thank you. I'll see you at the Guild with your award when you return. Good for you. Do, 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 do. Speaking of the music, I really like this music too. For some reason, it kind of remind like those flute sections, kind of remind me of uh, Tales of Fan not Fantasia, Tales of Symphonia. Fantasia is the prequel, or really, Symphonia is the sequel. It's just that I played Symphonia first, and Fantasia never came to America. Hello, <laughs> hello, Trap Inch. You look like a freak from facing forward. It is not a flattering look on you. How would Silas help? Well, you see, he's a tall glass of water. Well, that's just... Lar Sally? Sally, did you do that? Sally? Are you trying to kill us, Sally? You need to stop that. No! No more sandstorm! Sally, I know you've only been on this team for a few floors now, but that is what we... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Sally got yeeted! <laughs> yeah, I know you've only been on the team for a few floors now, but not everyone can resist Sandstorm. In fact, I'm fairly certain that most Pokemon that we are going to be fighting... Resist Sandstorm here! <coughs> Goodbye. Oh shit. Good job. <laughs> I don't get it. The joke is that Zoroa Neon is horny for Silas. Mostly because partner and hero ship for life, OTP. Also, I should probably have checked. S Sandy, do you also have sense? Storm, you do not. Good. Somebody else used it. Somewhere else. And that's just a dead end. A part of me is now imagining, like, a mystery dungeon game where you like, have to make the, the map yourself. I think that's actually is a feature in, like, I forget, like, is it called Etrian Odyssey? I know that there's, like, another dungeon-crawling JRPG that has that as, like, a main mechanic. And then I think there was, a uh, something to do about... ba 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 Rollout. Hmm. Do I care about rollout? On you, I don't think so. I had I had a bad experience with rollout when I was playing Bidoof's Wish. So no, I don't think so. Multi-hit moves, like if it's a ranged multi-hit move, maybe. Like melee, basically multi-hit move, no. I don't trust it. <laughs> Sally, don't use Sandstorm. <laughs> Sally gets flung away. That's what you get for using Sandstorm. Exactly. It's cosmic karma. Another chest? Yes. You fool. That's why you don't use rollout. Hello and welcome to the Comedy of Errors, where everybody tries to kill everybody. We already have no Sandy. You don't. You don't get a girlfriend. Sorry, Sandy. If you want a girlfriend, come back here and <laughs> beat up one yourself. Man, getting a girlfriend in this world is weird. Either you have to find them knocked out on the beach, or you have to beat the shit out of them. Well, considering the the little rambles of the BDSM gimp Sandshrew from the anime, maybe maybe all the Sandshrew here are just masochists. <laughs> maybe they're just into that. No, we already hit our max. 
Like, maybe I'll... Maybe... Maybe these aren't mystery dungeons. Maybe, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. We are not leaving your beloved scarf behind. How, what else am I going to hold on to? During those nights where you use play rough. I... I hate the trip ones. The trip ones are bitch. And once again, I just have trouble maneuvering with multiple Pokemon. And of course, the one with the thing to lose he trips on the trip bar. I dare you to say, give me your chest if you kill a Pokemon until one of them drops one. Well, maybe. <laughs> a lot of missing. I think it's due to Sandstorm, maybe? I don't know. Sometimes misses just happen. Now, if only there was a law punny that I could say, give me your chest to. Because then it works either way. Trap Inch, give me your boobs. Give me your bobbles. Hello, Sandshrew. Give unto me your chest. No. No, Sandy, you don't get a girlfriend through the team. Ow, you bitch. Give me your chest. The main problem is there's like none of these n Pokemon here have tits. So it just, it doesn't make too much sense. Maybe you. Damn it. The cactus juice tits just didn't give any. Only one item on this floor. I just went, I don't know why. Hello, Carnivine. Chest? No. <laughs> Revenge? What? Oh. Uh, Dark Pulse? I don't really feel like using one of my max elixirs. And that's just dead end. I mean, uh, I guess with only one item on the floor kind of makes sense. You fool. Die. Why is it that the move that is meant to be strong... Give me your chest and die. Fuck. You picked the wrong one. Give me a chest and die. Dang it. We have to find that one item. Chest? No. Oh, he's oh, sweet. He's just rubbing his belly in his sleep. <laughs> and his brother has come to protect him while in his sleep. Die. Hey, you. Chest? Nope. It's when you're thinking about is when it doesn't happen. I'm playing Black 2, and I just found a shiny Amoongus, and I have to name uh, him a... Uh, I have a name and a ball planned for it. Neat. Impressive challenge, but you can do it in different languages? No, I cannot. For I, I am not multilingual. I barely English good. I'm not very good with language. It's not good at all. Also, just realized these guys are like half our level. Feels like we're recruiting children. Then again, with how much damage they're doing to us, we might as well be. Sorry, Rhyhorn. We already have. We have our. We have our quota of child soldiers. Fine, I'll diddly do you. We have a bunch of max elixirs. I should nom nom. Oh, hello, Gengar. Also, I just remembered. Don't we have a protein in here? Uh, boost attack. Here, Silas. Get swole. But Gengar, you bitch. Gengar, no. Shit. And he's gone. Gengar, please! Gengar, you bitch! Come back! I just know that if I go. Gang. Gang. Gengar! Gang. Gengar!
Gengar, you slut. Gengar, please! Why can they do this? There you go. Hey, I have a fucking revive seat for you, you bitch. Thank you. And then he just left. <laughs> We're getting out of here. I don't want it. <laughs> ah. Welcome to <laughs> Shiny Hell. So to another member of chat. <laughs> Ultimate game of cat and mouse. Hey, you know, and you're so wise. It's just your genius of years or my years. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm wise. I just, I, I feel like I am forever juggling. And I do not know where the balls come from. And I'm scared. I'm not much an aerial ace. I don't know if any of us could learn, like, actually learn that. Thank you for delivering the Reviver Seed. To show my thanks, I want you to have my black gummy. I want you to have my giant ghostly schlong. We put in a full day today. I am exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. The next morning. Oh, years of experience. I honestly have no... It's probably the experience part. Because I don't think that I'm naturally wise. Is that done now? I don't know. Well, let's head to town and see if there's anything there. Hello there. Hello, Mama King is gone. The ultimate milf of Treasure Town. We'll come over here, primarily to sell the thorns. Yes. I hardly get anything for it, but I'm still gonna sell it. Now let's see. Have any reviver seeds that I can buy? There's Oh an orange gummy! I think that is good for the boy. Fighting type, good for the boy. We're getting crunk tonight, Silas. Once again, if only we could like actually drink these before ha heading to bed in the evening, but we have to do it before we leave for jobs. Another key. We already have one spare key. We're not going to do that. Appraise all of this. All these boxes. Hey, not all Gengars are like that. I've checked your characterization of all Gengars. One basically killed me back in Rescue Team. And so it is revealed within the boxes were a Mantic Beam, a Luxray Claw, a AFIE. Yes, and I, 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 I should also put away the grimy food. I forgot. Because I, like, reorganized my boxes. And activate that so that it's all nice and ready for when we do more recycling. Do do do. And I'll just keep the money on me. Oh hey. Hello, you've been exploring today as usual, yes, so very energetic. Have you heard the tale of the famous explorer Sizor? Sizor was an explorer, extraordinaire, whose fame stretched across this very world. Truly, he had a reputation that all explorers aspired toward. But this great explorer, he went missing while he was exploring Blizzard Island, far in the southwest. Many an exploration team set out to rescue the great explorer, but one and all, they were turned back by the bitter cold and swirling blizzards till none dare try again. It is a tale from many years ago. There also have been rumors. They say that the explorer Sizor was searching for an amazing treasure. You're an incredible team, Team Lost Light. 
what with saving the world and all, no exploration teams have gone to Blizzard Island since the rescue efforts were called off years ago. By any chance, would you be willing to go, Team Lost Light? I hear that Blizzard Island is in the southwest of the map. Interesting. Is this worth doing? You can now go to Blizzard Island. Is that one of those, like, key dungeons, or... I don't know. I don't know if I trust it. Oh, because he sent it to the diddly date orange for you, Silas. I don't think I have my black gummy with me. Again, why are the gummies so phallic looking? A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. Do it unlocks the rest of the post game. So definitely. Do 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 do. And yep, need to go get that black gummy, so I can get crunk. And we should also probably grab all of our reviver seeds while we're here as well. Do 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 do. In fact, we have a bunch of gummies we can take with us. First things first, we'll check the beach, then we'll check the guild for stuff, and then we'll head to Blizzard Isle. Be prepared to find a lot of ice types. I hardly plan for anything. I don't prepare. Oh, hey, Doug Trio's missing. Ooh, does that mean that everybody has different things to say in town, actually? <laughs> I'm a fool. Yeah, it's me. I'm Ursaring. Well, well, uh, that's obvious, isn't it? It's hard to tell us apart now. It can be annoying. Yep, nope, and everyone has the same things to say. Yeah, they just moved around because the dude. The dude and the guy and the man. Missing the guild. Hey, hey! Makes me glad to see you. Hey, hey! Even after you graduate, you're free to look up jobs in the boards of outlaws. So keep up taking those jobs. Hey, hey! Uh, first, let's take. <laughs> Stop it! Job list. Let's see. Landslide, Craggy Coast are the main ones that I'm willing to take jobs for. <coughs> Mystifying Forest level 14 for a zinc band and basically instant leveling up. Explore with Weeping Bell. <laughs> no. Uh, insert Rohan from JoJo, I refuse here. Bop, bop. Landslide cave? Is that... Do we have a landslide cave? I do believe we do. Landslide cave, so congratulations. We are taking that landslide cave. It's only a level B, but I don't care. I can mash up a bunch of things together. Yo, Krogunk, my boy. Give me a good fucking shit, damn it. Curlia, Bennett, Absol, Hophip, Magby, and Swamp. Where is my Zorowa stuff? You list them, they exist, and yet you're just like, I have it my, to my cauldron. I am going to shove you into the cauldron until I get a better shopkeep. But you'll get better quality quests, indeed. All right. Uh, bu -bu oh, yeah. Welcome to the fresh and friendly Spindus Cafe. <coughs> White gummy for the boy. Shake it this way. Shake it that way. Stir it all around and it's done. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this drink. An indescribably wonderful flavor, a special blend for the discerning Pokemon. Ah, huh, what? IQ increase too. Lucky Silas. A black gummy for me, so that I can be super powered. Huh. Daga Katoro. 
Rohan, JJBA. Indeed. Precisely. Non-sleeper! I have attained insomnia! Did we have a one-night stand? What? I just clicked through that. What? We got an egg. <laughs> There's just a bit over at the recycle shop. It's just like, I like the way you drink that. Have a, an unhatched child. You level 590? No. I think that's just like the weird diddly D. The egg will be cared for by Chancy Daycare. Check it out every so often. It's basically just the, I think, like, Pokedex number, I think, for this game. Yeah, because, like, it's just, it's a weird thing. It's like, yeah, the Pokedex number entry or something. <laughs> You're a parent now, Neon. And I didn't even read the, like, the words because I just, I wasn't expecting it. It just happened a bonnet just like here have an egg yeets it across the fucking way i'm looking after your egg huh the egg is it could it be is it close to hatching could it will it mm, well not quite yet give it a little more time then come back for another look just like <laughs> out of all the way like is it, there is no normal way to get an egg in this game. Like, you just get it because some Pokemon basically like, finds an egg in the dungeon. It's like, here, have it as a reward. Lava Evader? What? But yeah, uh, Sandy, uh, stand by. And Sally, stand by. I still think that I have majority of team members who came purely from me drinking gummy juice, and they're like, I like the way you drink that, and they join my team. First time that somebody went, I like the way you drink that, have a child. Blizzard Island. <laughs> Can I stop finding shinies for five minutes? You are cursed with shiny. Neon is the ultimate shiny charm. We could make Bennett scrambled eggs. How dare you? <laughs> Go for me. Ah, water pulse. I just forgot that I was gonna look and see if either one of us could learn Aerial Ace. This is some interesting music. Get out of the way! Um, your name? Vigoroff. I actually was going to say that, but I didn't want to presume. Do, 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 do. Hey, Vigoroff isn't a nice type. What's he doing here? Hello. Did, did, did the music change? Interesting. This is a bot! <laughs> Bainet, I like the way you drink. Either that or they're just like the worst parent ever. They go in super drunk and they just hand their egg to somebody. Or again, one night stand. Just, your voice just makes me giggle. Oh, thank you. I'm happy that I can naturally provide some amusement to the people. Three-fourth Pokemon on my main team is Shiny, a female Eevee, a Leopard, and N. Zorua. All Eevees are Shiny. Because they are sexy beasts. How do we know this? Look at the internet. Just obsessed with Eevees and the Eeveelutions. Like, look at Vaporeon. Will you please stop that, Vigoroth? I should have killed you. Well, good job. Die. Like, I swear, the music is shifting. It's going through, like, different, like, themes. I don't know what to make of that. 
12 items on this floor. I feel like I'm going to be murdered. I should have brought more pure seeds. Oh, no. <laughs> For more information, search Evolutions Rule 34. Just so you know, probably don't do that, just in case. Because even if you have filters on, things are going to get through because the internet. Get rocked, Santa bird. Yeah, it is just plain... <coughs> Alright. Uh, Silas? Go the other way. We're going to agility our way out of here. And just because I can to get the boy moving. Dark Pulse. Never mind, the boy isn't going the opposite direction because he's a fool. I told Silas to go the other way and he didn't go the other way. I am annoyed by the tactic system. Well. Dark Pulse again. Dark Pulse again. Thank you, AoE moves. <laughs> exactly, don't actually, please. Okay, so to clarify, it is not your voice that made me funny, but the delivery. The theme is getting more intense the more fights you get in. Oh, is that how what's happening? I was just thinking, like, I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm just like, don't, the music is changing. It keeps changing. Another Dark Pulse. Please don't like... Okay, good, you died. Thank you, AoE moves. AoE just annihilates everything. And chest! Sorry, Meryl. We are not recruiting in this hell. Just thank God that I had Dark Pulse. I, I guess Silas just really wanted that orange gummy. He was like, no, we're not running away from this monster house. We're getting that gummy so I can get crunk. I can only imagine that Silas is just like, don't worry, I'll make it up to you tonight when we get home. <laughs> After all, if we can take all those Monster House monsters in a fight, then obviously Silas can take me. And a fight, right? And a fight, right? Or I guess I could say I could take all of him. I wonder how big Blizzard Island is. I could make a Blizzard Entertainment joke, but I won't. Level up time. I, I just really like the... What's the word? The sound font? Yeah, the sound font for... Will you fucking hit the mystery? Oh, another chest. That makes up for it. Hello, Smoochum. Die. I guess we'll wander around. There's a, supposed to be a bunch of items here. That's most of them, so let's go. <laughs> Hello, Deli Bird. Quit throwing presents at me. Stop! There is a midway point. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> yes, in a fight. Hello, Piplup. I have half a mind to recruit you if you want, but no. No need for the naughty dreams, especially when they can just be naughty reality. Mm -hmm. 
die, Golduck. Go gold dig somewhere else. Oh, hey, what's that? It's a max elixir. Baba. Die. I think that was overkill for that sneasel. Well, sorry, you have to die now. Oh, it's a box! It's a deluxe box! The oh, You fucker. <laughs> Another box. But I just like the fact that the music keeps changing into, like, a, a nifty box. Okay, whatever you say, game. Would you like to open up my nifty box? It has inside it a nifty dick. You've heard of the tricky dick. Now get ready for the nifty dick. The ultimate counter that you've never seen coming. <laughs> You're a kind, pure heart. I refuse to believe otherwise. Oh, sweet summer child. The amount of, like, shipping jokes I've made between Zoro and Neon and Silas. You could probably make a compilation, V. Okay, br brain went a place there. Brain wanted to say, you could make a gumpy video out of it. What the fuck, Brain? Jesus! I do not control the rate at which Brain kills lobsters. God. My brain just throws the weirdest things at me. And I have no control over them. I fucking swear the invasive thoughts are winning. Okay, good. None of my apples got sludged. Apple. Also surprised that Neon is just swallowing this massive plastic container entirely in their throat. There's a vor joke in there. Nah. If anything, it's just like... Hey, Neon, what are you doing? Practicing for you tonight! Quit fury swiping, bastard. Fun fact, in Black 2, when sending out Pokémon, the female protagonist bends over in a way. Yeah, Pokémon... Pokémon is a thing sometimes. Like, just look at the mangas. <laughs> the mangas, in which a, a newspaper talks about how a tentacruel did something to its trainer in the bathtub. <laughs> Damn, I forgot I was typing something else. Don't you hate when that happens? Like, the worst thing is when you're trying to type something in, like, a different window. And then it's just like, sorry, your computer or slash device has decided that you are still in that other window. You better pray that you didn't complete the thought. Oh, that's... Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That a self-destruct trap doesn't go off in damp conditions. That's actually kind of cool. If Neon is devouring Silas every night, how is he not dead like every morning? Well, you see, Zoro and Neon only devours his dick. And only temporarily. It's not Vor if it's just Oral. I just I kind of find it interesting that they're like throwing all the the themes into this dungeon for some reason. A 
don't know why. They're like, hey, let's do it. But they did. <laughs> Consuming the PP. Pokemon is never going to escape that joke. They they named it they named it PowerPoints and abbreviated it. They could have chosen anything else. It's their own fault. <laughs> and then they and then they went and called another item the PP pee -pee up. <laughs> Pokemon, what's the word? What is it? My brain is faltering on me because that's terrible of memory sometimes. The Pokemon Aphrodisiac. PP up. <laughs> or in th now brain went <laughs> the alternate way of getting protein. A dick. Oh, it's a deluxe box. My favorite. Ah, oh, we don't need a twist band. Swap. I think I've gotten so many items and stuff that we're just gonna beeline it to the exit each floor now. Don't think I have much else to worry about. It's a scanner orb. Oh, hey. <laughs> I was thinking of using it, but the stores, the, the stores, the stairs are just there. Pokemon Viagra, exactly. Except in the Pokemon world, it would probably work terrifyingly well. Also, now Brain is wondering, how do moves like attract work, like in universe? How effective is it? in the bedroom. How many questionable uses of moves could be in the Pokemon world? You just you never know. There are getting to be far too many items. There, there has to it can be uh diddly d uh a monster house in here i'm scared i have a pure seed if i absolutely need to use it ironic considering that i myself have not pure yet i'm holding this pure seed and now brain went ah uh, yes the ultimate item in pokemon pure cum <laughs> pheromones true like, Salazzle would never go out of work in this world. Ah, so probably intent is important too, yeah. The exit times. Do I care about this TM? It's a vacuum cup. We've gotten you like five billion times. I have traded you away! I think Swallow is the best answer to that question. There's probably, there's like a million different innuendos you can make with Pokemon mo moves. You, you fuck. Will games stop trying to hurt me? Yep, yeah, but, but die. Get out of here, cast form, with your with your boob balls. <laughs> Stun seed backwards. Now that is just a classic Pokemon mystery dungeon meme. Don't say <laughs> stun seed backwards. Or else you'll get D's nuts. How about you slug my balls? <laughs> Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. When you want to see Mama Kangaskhan's tits, I want a Pikachu. It's just Pikachu. It's like Pokemon is just never escaping the deviant allegations. What the? 
I wonder why he hit, did he have a why did he have a counter attack ready? What? I'm confuzzled. <laughs> Don't forget, Silas needs a bone rush. Because Lucario can learn that, can't they? <laughs> Silas has to harden before the bone rush. It just Pokemon is eternally horny. What the fuck, dude? Why does that do so much? Oh, because it did rain dance, you bastard. I was wondering, it's like, why you do so much damage? Because he fucking did a stat increase, bull. You, you motherfucker. No, he just lost one of our Reviva Seeds. You know, it's... Uh, this is like the second time I've seen a Rostberry in person. I hate the stat moves. Quit, quit trying to use Rain Dance! Stop! An Azumarill is just dancing towards us. It is telling us an interpretive dance how it is going to murder us all. Oh, that's some cool art there. Well, speaking of vaginas... There's a huge jagged chasm cutting through the wall of ice and appears to lead into a series of caves. It's the entrance to another dungeon! You can now enter Crevice Cave! You found a shiny Drillbur. I don't think I've ever seen a shiny Drillbur before. First things first, I should probably organize my diddly D. So we can move the gummies out. Oh, a wander gummy. Huh. Stun seed, via seed. Ba ba. XI seed. We just need one. Escape seed. Escape seed. Escape orb. And you can take all of these fucking boxes. Alright. We should speed it up! That should we, yes, you. I English good. Shiny Drillbur has a blue belly. I just always think of that one, uh, character from, what's it called, uh, what is it called? Austin Powers, get in my belly! I've never watched it. I've never watched Austin Powers. Pop cultural osmosis is a thing, I swear. Oh, this is some music! We have some nice music up in here. And then the music changes! Okie dokie. I was like, oh, I'm vibing to this. Immediately changes. I guess it. That, that, that's the dungeon's opinion. Okay, box. Cool. That's the dungeon's opinion of me. Oh, hey, treasure. <laughs> treasure stairs. That's what I was trying to say. And then you found a magnet. Hello, Weavile. And now Weavile is dead. You death row box box? You death row rock at me? Hey, you wanna buy a box? I don't care how many items are on this floor. Damn it. I am making it to the exit. Level up time! Yay!
I was trying to maneuver properly, but failure happened. Fat bastard fan I see for Austin Powers quote. <laughs> like, I don't... Uh, that's the only thing I know about him, is get in my belly! Again, I've never even watched Austin Powers. The only other Austin Powers things I actually know is, like, uh, that one thing of him being in, like, a tiny little go-kart thing, going back and forth because he, like, wedged it in a hallway. And then, like, Dr. Evil and, like, the mini Dr. Evil. All of it is just from random clips, gifs, and quotes. I've never watched Austin Powers. I think it's a 007 James Bond pastiche, but that's it. <laughs> Let's get groovy, baby. Oh, behave. That's... I just know random things. Like most of my knowledge, that's Napoleon. You fucker. Silas, please fuck this penguin to death. Die. Zinc bam. How much money have we gotten? A lot of money. That is how much money we've gotten. We're Bruce Wayne up in here. Another box. If Batman fell into the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world, I wonder what Pokemon he'd be. It was out before 007 was that prominent. To be fair, though, like, blah, blah, blah. James Bond has been around for a long, long, long time, and I highly doubt that, like, Austin Powers came out before 007 was prominent, because Sean Connery, when he was young, played James Bond. Oh, hey, it's a Glaceon! Now you have to die! Sadness. But yeah, because, like, James Bond is old as books, is old as movies, and Austin Powers is, like, 80s at best of a rough estimation. Probably 90s. So, no, I, I don't buy that at all. <laughs> Empoleon is cooking you up. It was. The Zubat line would fit Batman, just not the final Evo. I don't know. I feel like there would be a better... Oh! I was I was thinking, like, Zorark. But I don't think Zorark line would fit Batman too, too well. Hmm. Because he's not really an illusion character. I'm just trying to think. Fuck. Leave the boy alone. Die. Fucking fog. Well, that's just rude. It's not gonna save you from death. You used fog? Will you please stop it? So many traps. Hmm, but the woke group shamed Sean Connery. To be fair, ever so slightly probably does deserve to be shamed in some areas. But that's just because of like, oh, it's just a different time. But at the same time, it is the modern age now. Granted, I don't know too deeply into that old drama. But at the same time, Hollywood is full of very unfortunate things deserving of shaming. That probably wouldn't be that surprising. Oh, hey, it's another gummy. A rod gummy. A red rocket, if you will. Yeah, we're just going on through as fast as possible to try and save like our items for a potential boss fight of hell. I probably should have brought like uh, a totter seed come to think of it. 
probably should have. All right, kind of weird. I thought the big, big guy was going to survive longer, but it was the Zangoose who got the most surviving in. At least we outheal the hail. And you did two damage. I'm not that... Power rebounded? Was that a, from a skill of yours? You little Bidoof betrayer. That line forever now is going to be the monster who betrayed poor Bidoof. Oh, our, ah, Crevice Cave Pit. This poor bastard... <laughs> Man, am I sure happy that we're out here and that he's in there, but where's the sheriff? Tee visitors, what a rare sight. Why are you keeping him a statue? Tee welcome. I'm Frostlass. I play host to the infrequent visitors to this frozen hinterland. It must have been awfully exhausting for you to fight those blizzards. Please do come closer. You must be chilled almost down to the bone. So let me freeze you solid all the way down to the bone. Neat. Let's see. Well, first things first. Agility. 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 Kind of disappointing that frozen Sizor isn't there. Just a uh, stun seed wouldn't really help too much because I think if we hit them, they fall out of it. So I'm just gonna throw a rock. Just gonna throw lots of rocks at you until you get to us. Alright, since you have a ranged move, let's get closer. And you have hail, damn it. Well, at least I'm super effective against you. You have a lot of health. Never mind, you're dead. <laughs> What is my next shiny going to be? I'm in Charge Stone Cave. I don't know. Eek! <laughs> we made him run away. Yay. <laughs> Wait, you went to the depths of Frostlass's crevice? Like I said, Pokemon is not beating the degenerate accusations. Ah. Ah. Where? Man, it must be sucked to be you. You've been frozen for years. Ah, uh, yes, I recall now. I've been exploring when I was set upon by that beastly frost lass. Oh, you're rescuing me, I presume. Forgive me for my lapse in etiquette. My name is Sizor. I'm an explorer. You've been here for years, you poor bastard. I'm sincerely grateful for your coming to my rescue. If you hadn't come along, I very well would have been remained encased in ice forever. However little did I expect to see that decades have passed since my icebound predicament. Why, it's as if I traveled to an entirely different world. Incidentally, I would like to somehow repay you for saving my life. However, I find myself alone in an alien world, and without single pokey to my name. I have but no idea how I could possibly repay you. Oh, it's okay. You don't need to thank us or any more. Hmm, however... Ah, yes, that may do. Tell me, you did say you were an exploration team, yes? Um, yes. Ah, uh, very well. You see, though you may find it unlikely, I was once upon a time an explorer of some repute. Well, I'll have you know, I am an honorary member of the Pokemon Exploration Team Federation. A what? An honorary member? Correct. An honorary member such as myself has the right to give special status to exemplary exploration teams. It's been decades since you were frozen. Does that still hold any water? And you fit the bill. Your plucky courage during my rescue proves that you are more than exemplary. So I confer upon you the secret rank. What? Secret rank? Yes. An exploration team with that rank is eligible to take special missions. Special missions are highly confidential jobs that come straight from the Exploration Team Federation itself. Highly confidential? I don't get it. You may not know now, but it will become clear in due time. I'll need to make a note of your new rank t on your Explorer Badge. The secret rank mark was added to the Explorer Badge! I don't know what this is about, but thank you. Ah, uh, it's the least I could do. I shall never forget your valor and kindness in coming to my rescue. I must be on my way. Farewell! 
So that's what it is. We're gonna get secret jobs from the Federation, and that's the post-game. <laughs> Meanwhile, Silas is just not sure what to think of it. We put in a full day today. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. Yeah, the next morning. Good morning, Neon. Let's make it another great day. But I do believe... <laughs> Excuse me. That that shall be that for now, because we spent basically half the stream doing Team Charms episode, and then we went and saved Sizor and got the secret rank. <laughs> the hidden treasures, aka the legendaries. I hope it's not just like, hey, go here, fight a legendary. I prefer when there's actually a bit of story. Like, if there's a... I like story in my post-game. Which is why I mostly only really liked the Gengar missions from Rescue Team's post-game. But we'll have to see. I will at least give, like, a, a good college try to most of the post-game. But we'll have to see. Once again, that was very fun. <laughs> we, oddly enough, I don't think we ran into too many traps during... Like, I don't know. It feels almost like the traps have kind of been toned down compared to Rescue Team, or maybe it's just that I haven't gotten to the absolute bastard kind of dungeons that are filled to chock full with some kinds of evil, nightmarish traps. We'll have to wait and see on that, though. It is go here, fight a legendary, die. But I do think that there are some post-game stuff that is more heavy on the story side, but we'll have to wait and see. Again, we'll give it a good old college try. We'll have to wait to have to do. But yes, next time... Uh, hmm. Actually don't know. Because... We don't have that many Reviver Seeds, I don't think. But I would like to give some Reviver Seeds to myself for when we do the... Like, next special episode, but who knows. When's the next PMD stream? Monday? Yes. Next stream will be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. As I am trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next stream, we will probably begin with the last remaining special episode that we have unlocked. I don't think that there are any others to unlock, but I could be wrong. I'm not all that knowledgeable there. But, yeah, we'll try and do that special episode, and then go about seeing what things we can do here in Treasure Town afterwards. Unless it's a really, really long special episode, who knows? They seem to vary in length. But, yes, this time we did Team Charms episode, and we saved a poor man from being a frozen caveman off in a frozen land. And it was much fun, much fun. The music was great, and it was just a fun old time. I, again, do wish that there was more conversation between Silas and the uh, the main character during that dungeon. A bit. It was just like, hmm, just like a little rumination of like, huh, so we heard about Sizor here. I wonder if we'll even find him. Is he still alive? It's like little things like that. Just a little bit more character personality going on. Which I do think that there are at least two-ish storylines-ish in the post-game that have, like, actual story, but we'll have to wait and see. I've only ever heard about them in passing, so I don't know much about them. But, yes. I do believe that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, everything that I do can be found in my link tree. linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. It has things like my main edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel that all these streams end up on as VODs, as well as stream to live, and then my Twitch channel. Other such things like art that I draw or stories that I write can be found through there, and my Patreon, which is a little tip jar if you want to throw a dollar do my way out of the kindness of your hut, that's also there. But I had a thought, but then it flew away. Hmm. But, yeah, I hope to see you dudes next time. Thank you very much for watching. Be you, be true, stay hydrated, but most importantly, be kind.
See you, everybody.